valued at $1,382 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of a Bitcoin is $634. Antiwar.com reports the Obama administration insists that neither the United States nor European Union will ever recognize the results of this weekend's referendum in Crimea, which is widely expected to call for its accession into the Russian Federation. Crimea's parliament seceded from Ukraine earlier in the week, and the referendum provides options to either return to Ukraine or to join Russia. It does not give an option to remain independent. The U.S. and NATO argue that Crimea's secession contravenes international law, though officials have long taken an opportunistic position on secession, backing those liable to put pro-U.S. governments in power and spurning those that will not. U.S. officials have said that the referendum cannot be allowed because Ukraine's pro-U.S. interim government, installed in violent protest weeks ago, has opposed it. They have demanded Russia force the Crimeans to stop the vote from occurring and have vowed sanctions on Monday if the referendum is held. Russian President Vladimir Putin insists that the referendum is entirely in keeping with international norms and the UN Charter. Though Putin has expressed reservations about Crimean accession, the Russian parliament has strongly supported the idea. Crimea has a majority Russian population and was legally part of Russia until 1954 when the Soviet Union transferred it internally to the Ukraine Republic. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Amagi Metals. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. Amagi Metals offers beautiful gold and silver rounds and ingots at great prices. Amagi Metals also accepts Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin, allowing you to convert your cryptocurrencies into precious metals. Shop Amagi Metals online at gold.fppradio.com. That's gold.fppradio.com. The UK Telegraph reports Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, reveals he called President Barack Obama to complain about the actions of intelligence agencies, saying his company's online security measures should be to guard against criminals, not the government. Posting on his Facebook page on Thursday, Zuckerberg wrote that he'd been confused and frustrated by the repeated reports of the behavior of the U.S. government. When our engineers work tirelessly to improve security, we imagine we're protecting you against criminals, not our own government. Though Zuckerberg does not actually name the NSA, the post comes the day after the news site Intercept reported that the agency has impersonated a Facebook server to infect surveillance targets' computers and and get files from a hard drive. The report is based on documents leaked by former NSA contractor Edward Snowden. The agency said in a statement, the NSA uses its technical capabilities only to support lawful and appropriate foreign intelligence operations, all of which must be carried out in strict accordance with its authorities. FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Go look at their shirts. They're witty, hip, smart, and liberty-oriented. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. TechCrunch reports, in an interview with Rolling Stone, Bill Gates outlined his view of Edward Snowden in the context of his methods and privacy itself. Answering the question as to whether he viewed that Snowden was a hero or a traitor, Gates hedged slightly but leaned noticeably in one direction. I think he broke the law, so I certainly wouldn't characterize him as a hero. If he wants to raise issues and stay in the country and engage in civil disobedience or something of that kind, or if he had been careful in terms of what he had released, then it would fit more of the model of, okay, I'm really trying to improve things. Gates's claim that criminal does not equal hero contradicts his statement that Snowden should have engaged in civil disobedience. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. From the creation of the Bible in 1912 by a struggling Baltimore book salesman to the day in 1493 when Christopher Columbus and his crew looked back on their voyage and realized what they truly discovered was themselves. The Onion looks back 
at This Week in History. On July 21st, 1969, astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the surface of the moon. The f moon, for Christ's sake. This is Tranquility Base. The Eagle has landed. Jesus H. Christ, Houston. We're on the f***ing moon. Over. Roger, Tranquility. We copy that. We cannot believe you are on the f***ing moon. I'm descending the ladder. Just one more step and I'm... Holy living f I absolutely am standing on the surface of the f***ing moon. Jesus H. Christ in a chicken basket. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can take control of the airwaves toll-free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. Mark is back uh, from his final uh, Florida vacation. You're back for the remainder of um, the winter, I guess? Not much of a vacation, really. I mean, I worked the whole time while I was down there. I see. It's really just picking the wife uh, and the child up and driving them back to New Hampshire. So the family's back. Mark's back on the show. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Mark, I know that uh, in your prep you had, we have the same story we both brought in, and that's usually a sign that that's the one that we should go with. Uh, of course, you can call in and bring up anything that you want, but theblaze.com is reporting on Jordan Weiser. He's a high school senior. You might call an overachiever. Now, this story sounds awfully familiar if you're a longtime listener of Free Talk Live because it's not the first time a young man has been found with some sort of weapon, not on his person, but in his car at a government school. And not the first time somebody, again, 17, 18 years old, has gotten in trouble for something like this. The prior story that we'd shared was a... I believe an Eagle Scout uh, who was 17 at the time. He had his car searched in the school parking lot. They found his, you know, scout knife that was in his car as part of a medical kit or something like that. And that that guy got in trouble. Well, there was that. a couple of weeks ago that uh, the the kid's dad's a fisherman, and the dad borrowed right. the car, and the dad left his fishing knife in in the car. And I believe that is a different person than this person. Well, it's happening all the time. Right. This zero tolerance uh, takes zero brains. Um, I'm afraid. So let's uh, jump into the story here from theblaze.com. Enrolled in an Ohio vocational technical school, Weiser was taking Firefighter 2 and EMT courses. One of the things that makes this story a little different is he's actually 18, uh, and he was bolstering his dream of future public service. The 18-year-old told the Huffington Post, quote, Last year, I completed the law enforcement course. I received several certifications, including the National Terror Defense Certification from FEMA the Terror Recognition Certification, and Emergency Vehicle Operator. He was certified for that. So this young man is looking to work for the state. He wants to work in these government positions. And government positions where people carry knives. And uh, I, I guess he didn't expect to become the victim of the state in this case, which is what happened. He's also joined the Army, has enrolled in the what's called Future Soldiers Program, and was scheduled to ship out in August after his planned military service, he figured he'd embark on a career as a police officer or firefighter. I mean, it's about as standard as you can get as far as somebody that wants to work uh, for the state. Join the military, join the police after that. Weiser's uh, big dreams of public service are now on hold. In fact, he's now enduring a nightmare. It all started December 12th when administrators at the Technical and Career Campus in Ashtabula County, also known as ATEC, in Jefferson, Ohio, about 60 miles northeast of Cleveland, questioned Weiser after an alleged tip regarding videos uploaded to Weiser's YouTube account. Among the clips are reviews of video games and merchandise, home defense tactics, and an interview with a local police officer. Now, I think this is particularly unusual because this isn't even like your standard government school. This is a technical school. 
a it technical did, school where he's going to train for firefighter right. training. It, it would seem like at a technical school they'd be more likely to leave you alone for this petty let's search your vehicle in the parking lot crap. I thought that this was a situation where he was going to both the high school and the technical school. Am I mistaken there? Uh, it was the administrators at the technical school okay. who were questioning him, the principal of the school said that he had reason to believe that I had weapons in my vehicle and needed to search it, Weiser told Huffington Post. He made me empty out all my pockets, and the vice principal grabbed me and patted me down very forcibly. It was somewhat awkward. They then took my car keys, and I told them what was in my car and said, don't be alarmed. Weiser added that he didn't give school officials permission to search his vehicle, nor was there a warrant to perform the search. But they called the school handbook or cited the school handbook as their warrant, he said, adding that they denied his request to call an attorney. And what do they find inside Weiser's vehicle? A folding blade pocket knife, stun gun, and two airsoft guns. Now, uh, for those that don't know, airsoft is a game akin to paintball in which participants shoot each other with round non-metallic pellets. Uh, and Weiser said he had little plans. plastic, little plastic BBs that yeah. you know they might sting uh, in the worst case scenario. Probably not going to break skin. In, in the in the best case scenario, you don't even feel them. So he said he had plans for an airsoft game after school, and the stun gun is for self defense. Adding that the pocket knife was pocket knife was part of his EMT kit. He said my stun gun was locked in the glove box, and the knife was in my EMT medical vest. I bought it at Kmart and have it as part of my first responder kit for cutting seat belts. Now, Mark, you're a, a volunteer firefighter. You've come on the scene of a couple accidents in, in your time as a firefighter, and it could be useful to have a knife to cut a seatbelt or clothing or whatever you need to off of somebody to extract them from, oh, I don't know, a burning vehicle or something like sure, that. Sure, knives are in the medical kits, um, and if you don't happen to have one on you, most firefighters I know carry one. Right, and and you again, I'm I'm shocked that this is happening at a technical school, but I guess it just shows how far the reach is of this this police state. This, this continually expands its tentacles into more and more areas of our lives. He goes on here, uh, Weiser was arrested and jailed for illegal conveyance of a weapon onto a school ground, a Class 5 felony. Harold Specht, the chief assistant prosecutor at Ashtabula County Prosecutor's Office, says the charge is related only to the pocket knife. Weiser said to the Huffington so the Post. So the stun gun, the airsoft guns, apparently those these, are things fine. Are, these things are fine. I was in jail for almost 13 days, he said, the first bond hearing I went to. No. One thing I'd like to point out is that knives and kn knives are dangerous. There's no doubt about it. I don't think they get used um, in. I, I guess I don't hear that about that many knife knife crimes. I'm not involved in crime too often. Thank oh, goodness. There was a mass stabbing in China recently yeah, where I'm dozens about the United, died. The United States, but yeah, that that was the case. Yeah. Um, but you know, lots of people have died by knives. They're absolutely dangerous mm -hmm. things. But you know, if you can't trust somebody to have a knife in their car at school. I mean, I just don't know what – I don't know where this country's gone. Uh, my next-door neighbor, who's in his 70s, told me the story about how he used to carry his rifle to school. He had to carry his rifle to school in the hopes that he would shoot dinner mm. on the way home. And this was this was the United States. Yeah. This was Vermont. This was not that uncommon and not that long ago. And now a pocket knife, a folding pocket knife – in his medical vest, in his car, in the parking lot. Causes yeah. causes somebody to be arrested for a felony. Yeah. It's insane. So, again, he was held in jail for 13 days, and then on his bond hearing, the judge ordered him to be on a half-million-dollar bond pending a psychological evaluation. He did the evaluation and passed. He said, they found I was not suicidal, homicidal, or a threat to anybody. My attorney brought it up in front of a different judge who let me out on a $50,000 bond and an ankle. $50,000 bond for bringing a pocket knife Right, and that's down from 500000 In your car. He says, I was released from jail on Christmas Eve. Given his school's locale, Weiser doesn't understand all the hubbub over his pocket knife, nor the wide-ranging fallout from its discovery. 
He said, there are kids at my school all the time who get caught with knives and are suspended. My school is very rural and people carry knives. I can accept the fact there was a lapse in judgment and I can accept a punishment, but I've already what been expelled. What the hell is wrong with this kid? Look what you've done, America. You've got an 18-year-old aspiring young man who wants to work for the government saying, okay, I can understand I've got to be suspended and I can understand mm-hmm. I've done something wrong. I've had a lapse in judgment for having a pocket knife. You have beaten your children down into nothing. They don't they don't believe that they they believe having a pocket knife is a lapse in judgment. Yeah, it's crazy. The toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-free, but there's more to this story about his felony charge, about what will happen to him if the felony keeps, you know, moving ahead uh, cuz his his whole career is in jeopardy at this point over this. And we'll share more of the story. You're welcome to comment at 855-450-FREE. The very agencies that he wanted to join to be a part of are the ones who are coming down on him. I wonder how that makes him feel. How would it make you feel? 855-450-FREE. And how do you feel about the ever-expanding police state, the searches? Uh, There's another story that InfoWars has about an unannounced school lockdown drill where cops came in with guns and had a little bit of fun. More coming up. Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is. And it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You gotta see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw for free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. 
Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, live Saturday edition of the program. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can also connect with us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out in that way if you prefer. And in fact, I prefer if you get the choice. Go ahead and use Skype because usually it sounds better. Uh, we're going to continue here with the story about the 18-year-old who is an EMT certified. Um, he's also very, very interested in being part of the state. He wants to be in the military. He wants to be a police officer or a fireman. Um, well, now all of that may be in jeopardy because he had an EMT kit in his car, which included a knife. And the people at his school decided, based on a an supposed anonymous tip about his YouTube channel where he has some sort of emergency preparedness videos or something like that. And again, he lives in a rural area. Uh, that, that because of the con- the content on his YouTube channel that he may be carrying a weapon, may have a weapon in his car. They searched his car, and they found a knife as well as a stun gun and some airsoft rifles. They've since charged him with a Class 5 felony, and I'm not sure uh, where Ashtabula County is. Ohio. Excuse me, that's where he is. He's in, in a, he's in Ohio. So you're welcome to share your thoughts. There's more to the story because we've just started uh, to kind of give you the, the details here. And if you if you think this guy should be charged with a crime for having a knife in his car at school, whether or not he's an EMT, uh, I'd love to hear from you at 855-450 free. I know when I was in high school, I carried a pocket knife to, to school. Mm. I am um, not. Was every that illegal? Day. Was it against? I don't know rules? the answer to that. I couldn't tell you. Mm. Uh, you know, it just wouldn't. I was never shaken down. I'd never had anybody go through my pockets. I think one time they took a dog through and kind of sniffed the lockers, but uh, pocket knives don't smell like marijuana, so that wasn't really a, sure. a concern of mine. And I know lots of people did the same thing. Um, not that big of a deal. If you're looking for a pocket knife or a fixed blade knife, a great place to go is manventureoutpost.com. Um, Manventureoutpost has... Meaning if you want to buy one. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. If not you want to steal one as a cop because you can just take anything from anybody yeah, you're gonna, you want. Yeah, you're going to have a difficult time doing that Right. Um, if you go to Manventure because uh, they're going to want you to pay for it. But the prices are lower than they are uh, just about any place ever, I've ever looked on the internet. They say they have the best prices, and uh, when I checked, it was true. Yep. They've got, uh, they've got, they've got a low-price guarantee. And they've got the name brands. The nice thing about getting the name brands is that you're comfortable that you know you've got uh, that you're getting something that's going to last. I've got a good knife that I got from them, and they've got those neck knives that you can uh, they come on a chain or whatever. I wonder if he'd been wearing his knife around his neck. I wonder if he would have gotten caught. Probably not. Because they only ch- checked his pockets, you know. I had a neck knife from ManVentureOutpost.com. I went through uh, Belizean security. <laughs> and in, U.S. Customs. <laughs> came into the U.S., U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, all with a knife hanging around yeah. my neck. So, yeah, you can um, you can get all kinds of knives. And, frankly, just about anything else, whether you're looking for a handgun, long gun, ammunition, you just... Uh, Binoculars or um, archery, air guns, these kind of things, boating equipment, tents, um, hiking uh, apparel. They've got it at manventureoutpost.com. It's a a family-owned operation. They've got the lowest prices. Go check for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Manventureoutpost.com. Who could really support what the police and the prosecution in this case are doing? They're bringing a classified felony charge against this young man. And essentially just destroying his life and destroying his life plans. He talks about how his school is rural and that people carry knives. And he feels like he can accept the punishment, but feels like it's gone far enough with him already being expelled from both the technical school and his home school. Yeah, that sounds like it's gone too far to me, too. Jerome Brockway, the ATEC superintendent, declined to discuss the case. Again, he was on a technical campus, a technical Votech kind of school campus at the time when the, the search happened. 
Since Weiser's felony charge, he said the Army has discharged him pending a not guilty verdict or dropped charges without prejudice. And that's not all. If the felony charge sticks, things could get way worse. He says, if I'm convicted of a felony, I'm never going to be a police officer and I'm never going to be a fireman. I'm never going to be in the military and I won't even be able to be a janitor. I'm 18 years old and this is going to ruin my entire life. Now, Mark, you got convicted of a felony at around age 18. Yep. And uh, what was it like for you? I mean, did it ruin your whole life or... You know, you've made you've made all, all right for yourself. You've got a family now. I mean, it's, maybe it's not as bad as he thinks it's going to be, but it certainly isn't going to help him. Well, if this kid wants to be a firefighter and a police officer and go into the military, this felony is going to be a real problem for him. It's going yeah. to put up a giant roadblock. Um, it, I, I think he can get around it. There's no doubt about it, but it's going to put a lot of uh, distance between him and his goals. And you got to consider why. I mean, why are they doing this? Just trying to keep you safe, Mark. Uh, how are they keeping anyone safe for a folding knife in this guy's car? I don't know. Just... I don't know. It's insane. <laughs> it's <laughs> absolute insanity. They're not trying to keep you safe. It's mindless government bureaucrats going through the motions trying to cover their butts. Yeah, You've but... got a nation of spineless butt coverers. And what I want to know But they is weren't at risk. If, if you think, if I'm missing something here. The bureaucrats weren't, weren't at risk. Once they find the knife, they're at risk. But they didn't have to look for it. They could have. They could have heard the anonymous tip about this kid, and they could have said, uh, "Thanks for the tip." Click and hung. I up don't the know phone. if they targeted him for some reason. You're. It's just yeah, supposition. I have no. But they idea. certainly weren't at risk. I mean, the bureaucrats if, themselves aren't liable for somebody with a knife in their car. If they don't do a certain amount of shakedowns of cars per year, they're probably not keeping their students safe. Oh, no, who knows? Maybe they're. Maybe they're getting federal money if they're shaking down people's cars. If they don't shake down the cars, they don't get money. Who knows? Let's go to the phones. Get your thoughts. But there's more to the story, by the way. Uh, we'll share that with you. But first, we go to Dave in Michigan. You're on Free Talk Live. Dave. Hey, guys. Uh, we are in big, big trouble. Eric Holder said that he we have to brainwash the people into, you know, thinking differently about guns and obviously knives. You know, what are they going to do, take away forks next? You know, this is insanity. We have to storm something. we got to re- physically remove Eric Holder from his job. He is a traitor to America. Th- this is insanity. This, we were reading I don't these, get it. We were how, reading do these, get, how do they live with themselves when they pull this kind of stuff? I have no idea how they live with themselves, believe me. But we were reading these kind of stories under the Bush administration, too. It's yes, not just, I agree. You're right. It, I mean, it's insanity. It, Eric Holder was the assistant uh, uh uh, whatever he is, right? Under Bush? I have no I idea. I couldn't Holder's answer that. been there for a long time. But I think so, you're, yeah. not, you're not going to solve the problem by getting rid of Eric Holder. They're just going to put another thug in his place. Right. And, and don't forget oh, that these, what, these that, principles... That's why we have to step up. We have to physically remove him. We have to physically remove all these uh, traitors in in Washington. How are you going to do that? In capital. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow, slow down. Slow down. I understand you're excited. Well, you're upset. All of them. Dave, well, slow, slow, slow down. I, I get that you're excited and upset, but how are you really going to physically remove government bureaucrats from their offices? I mean, they have a, a bunch a of guns. Question. We, uh, you know, I, I don't know the answer to that, but I'm telling you. The answer you, is you're not going to. The, and the answer is we, they're entrenched, and there's not a damn yeah. thing that you or I can do about it beyond not cooperating with them. Right. We have to resist uh, the tyranny by not, uh, you know, playing into their into I their totally game. agree. Have you stopped paying taxes? Uh, well, that's kind of difficult because they take them right out of your check. Mm. Yeah, I can see you that. Know, yep. Yeah, if you're working for somebody well, else, it can be very, very difficult saying, to stop that. And I, I like your guys' attitudes. Um, but yeah, we're in trouble, and we need to band together as a people. You know, white, black, red, yellow, all Americans. we yeah. got to stand up against I love the folks. idea, Dave. It's just the whole standing up part. People seem to have a problem with that. Thank you for the call tonight. appreciate hearing from you. Let's talk more about that here in moments, because uh, I do have a solution. Uh, 855-450 free. It's Free Talk Live. Please pay attention, folks. AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com is a Christian, veteran-owned wholesale preparedness company. Our mission is to get the Word of God out to all those in need of a Bible and who cannot afford one. We also provide great-tasting freeze-dried food from only 50 cents per serving, GMO-free food, over 1,000 preparedness items. Plus, for a limited time, type in the word Genesis at checkout and receive 10% off your total purchase. 
That's AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com. I'm David Crudeni, President and CEO of Cigna. We're proud to support the March of Dimes by walking in the March for Babies. It feels great to know that the money we raise funds life-saving research and programs that improve the health of babies. With your help, we can make this year better than ever. Join Cigna and our coworkers across the country in March for Babies to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthier babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org and march to help our babies. Thank you. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is... You ain't going to make... Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and it is the live Saturday edition of the program. Of course, you can take control of the airwaves. Dial in toll-free. Bring up whatever's on your mind, 855-450-FREE. Especially want to hear from you if you support what it is that's happening to this young man in Ashtabula County, Ohio. He's 18 years old. He was going to a technical school. They pulled him out of class. They said, we believe you may have weapon on you or in your car. They searched him. He said he wanted to talk to an attorney. He wanted to see a warrant. They said, our warrant is the school handbook. And no, you can't talk to your attorney. They then went out and searched and I, his car. I'm kind of curious about this. What if he had gotten in his car and driven away at that moment? Ooh, yeah. Eluding, evading the police or something like well, that? Well, I mean, that just, you know, no, no, you can't look. 
And yes, I'm driving to my attorney's office. If you'd like to follow me there, then you can talk to him about it. It's not made clear in the story if there was law enforcement that were there for the search. I would presume that there were. I don't know. But it's this not is made clear. This is a technical institute. I doubt there were. I doubt there was. Well, we don't know that detail on the story. But either way, if you support what's happening to this young man, he's being prosecuted, uh, has already been expelled from school. He's also being prosecuted for a Class 5 felony in Ohio as a result of this, which, of course, if he's found guilty of that, uh, that will destroy his chances he's, of becoming a uh, military officer or a police officer, which is what he wants to do. He's been kicked out life. of the military at this point. Pending uh, him being found guilty. He's been uh, kicked out of the military, so he's like temporarily kicked out. If he gets found not guilty, then he could be reinstated. But yeah, this is a serious situation. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Now, our last caller a moment ago was saying that we needed to uh, band together and physically remove the attorney general and all the scumbags in Washington uh, from office. Now, I, and, thought, I thought you were kind of rough on this guy. Well, like, all I asked him was, how is he going to do it? He was excited. Um, he didn't, you know, I mean, people are people are beginning to see the problems out there. And no, they're not. They've been seeing the problems for years. I mean, maybe some people are just now beginning to see the problems, but a lot of people, like you pointed out, these stories were happening back in the Bush administration. This certainly isn't Barack Obama's doing. It's been happening for years, for, since before Bush. I mean, they were doing school searches a long time before George Bush took off. It's certainly ramped up after 9-11. Uh, but this is this shouldn't be a surprise, certainly not to people who've been paying any amount of attention to the news. There's all kinds of zero-tolerance stories. I've got another one about uh, what they call boobies bracelets. Apparently there's a case that's gone to the Supreme Court about girls wearing bracelets that say, I love boobies on them. They're pink, and they're supposed to raise money for breast cancer. It's not just girls. I mean, guys are wearing them too. But there you go. But they're these rubber bracelets. Yeah, they're, they're very hip. They're very in. I think they were hip and in 10 years ago, but yeah, I mean, this is... I only started seeing them within the last five years. This is the, okay, Live Strong um, is, is what it started with, that yellow one. Yeah, I don't know. I'll take your word for it. But anyway, he he was saying, we need to get rid of them. And we've heard that so many times. you got to get rid of them. Well, he actually said you have to physically remove them, and I don't know how you're going to pull that one off, because they've got men with guns who will physically stop you uh, from physically removing the government bureaucrats from Washington, D.C. These people are entrenched. And whether they're, gov- whether they're Republican or Democrat, they're in there for good. They're going to stay there. Sure, you might change out a figurehead now and then, but ultimately the same game is being played. And the game is being played with your money and your lives and your obedience. And there are two things you can do to stop them from doing that. You can stop giving them your money voluntarily, and you can stop giving them your obedience. Do you? Yes, I uh, I have stopped paying taxes, uh, taxes as of correct as of uh, ten years ago, and just now the IRS has finally uh, sent sent me a letter in Spanish, uh, nonetheless. <laughs> so they want me to help them update their files on me, and I'm not interested in helping them do that. Yep, I've taken but, steps to do the same thing and not to, to pay them anymore. I but just, there's risk involved in that. There Mark, sure is, and uh, and there would be risk involved in physically removing a government bureaucrat from office. All of these things involve risk, and I don't think most people in America are really willing to take risk like that not yet at least this it hasn't got <clears throat> gotten to the point of uh ukraine or venezuela where there are you know open protests marches uh in the streets sure occupy happened a few years ago but that's fizzled out since then you know it was co-opted by the the establishment just like the tea party was yep. co-opted by the establishment the unions and, got involved but then it became a democrat thing everybody's Same with gotta, the tea party right everybody's got to go to work and you know eventually you gotta you gotta leave the protest So what is a realistic solution? Well, for those of you who actually care about liberty, then what I would recommend is you check out the Free State Project. It's your best chance at liberty in your lifetime. Uh, That's my opinion. That's why I picked up my life and I moved to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, as you did, Mark, back in 2006. Over 1,500 people are already here now as part of the Free State Project. There are over 15,000 who have signed the pledge to make the move to New Hampshire, we want to reach 20,000 signers before that move actually officially begins. So we move, but we're early movers. And all the things, that if you've been listening to Free Talk Live for a while, you know we've talked a lot about some of the exciting activism and political successes happening here in New Hampshire. That's already happened early. Like, it hasn't even officially begun, the Free State Project. The actual move hasn't happened yet. We're not even, you know, we're probably a good year or two away from the, the move officially beginning. And we've already been called 
the single greatest threat to the state. We've already had free staters elected to multiple offices statewide. So we're having an impact here, and I'd like to see it eventually move to uh, secession of uh, New Hampshire to pull out from the federal government. Because if you want to talk about difficult political uh, goals, secession's a difficult political goal. There's no doubt about that. I'd but agree it's with even you. more difficult to get people removed from Washington, D.C. and somehow change that beast into something that is better. That's I think just that those impossible. Blood, I think the bloodsuckers in Washington, D.C. will have bled it dry before you get the opportunity to uh, do your secession you thing. You think so? Uh, but I, I, know. I, I like the idea of the state of New Hampshire doing what it's continuing to do, what it has done in the past, which is to tell the federal government to take a long walk off a short pier. Like they did with the seatbelt law. New Hampshire's the only state with no adult seatbelt law. Real ID. Um, and they medical, turn up. They turn down marijuana. money. They turn down federal money. Like the federal government has come to uh, to the New Hampshire state people and said, "Look, all you have to do is just adopt this seatbelt law, and we'll give you two million millions bucks a year, and millions of dollars." Yeah, but they've said no to that. So yeah, saying more no to the federal government would be a good thing on a state level, but it would also be a good thing on an individual level. So even if you aren't, you know, willing to, if you don't care about freedom, then you don't want to look into the Free State Project. And of course, when I say that, I mean you have to understand that in order to be free for you, you have to allow other people to be free, which means free to live their lives how they want to, even if it's in a different way than how you would. And you should be free to live your life how you want, so long as you don't hurt anybody else. So if you agree with that, check out the Free State Project, and we go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. Vinny's on the line listening to WNIS in Virginia Beach. Go ahead, Vinny. Hey, I just wanted to comment on that EMT guy. He yes, was, uh, <clears throat> I'm an EMT, and if I didn't have a knife in my car, then I would be kind of not really doing my job. Yeah, people because, would die. you know, it's like if I see a, um, a crash on the side of the road, there is gas leaking, and the car is about to explode, the seatbelt doesn't work, and the person is stuck inside their car, and they're about to burn to death, then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting that seatbelt off. And if I don't have the adequate tools to do so, then that person is going to be burned alive, and I'm going to sit there and wait for someone who actually has the right equipment in their car to do their job. Yeah, you can't chew through a seatbelt. No, and we're obligated (laughs) to stop, basically. Yep, you've got the good Samaritan laws. I mean, like, we we made uh, an oath, technically speaking, to stop whenever we see someone who's potentially in trouble from a medical perspective. Um, Also, I wanted to say that what we should do is, uh, if we want real liberty, I mean, isn't uh, Rand Paul... Uh, the number one in the CPAC vote for now. Yeah, he did. Uh, he did win the CPAC vote. So I mean, doesn't that does obviously that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be a Republican presidential candidate? But don't you think we should be kind of pushing for him as a to No, party? thank you. Well, I think that he's uh, going to be likely to be a Republican uh, candidate, and I I will probably vote for him in the primary. I wouldn't lift a finger well, to do anything for Rand Paul. That guy doesn't have a prince. Wouldn't know a principle if it hit him in the face. He, he doesn't have principle. Well, I mean, I haven't heard a lot about him. I just thought that... He yeah, all you have to do is just look time. into him. Here's what I'd recommend. Uh, there's a Wikipedia page with his position on the issues. Uh, we were looking at that the other night, and there's plenty of stories where Rand Paul is definitely not taking a pro-liberty stance on certain issues, like the war on drugs, like the border. Thank you for the call He's going to be, be better than every one of the other Republicans and better no, than every one of the doesn't Democrats. doesn't matter. There's no point anyway in uh, federal elections. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. I'm not excited about about uh, a half principled person. It's Free Talk Live. You take control here. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes 1 800 564 6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. 
Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step -step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the Total Transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now. 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. If you're looking for work, you know the math. There are many more applicants than openings, so you need to stand out, not blend into the blah, blah, blah your interviewer is hearing from your competition. Here's a tip. In your interview, you will be judged more by the questions you ask than the answers you give. Yes, do anticipate the obvious job interview questions and prepare concise, insightful, glass half full sounding responses. And you should interview your interviewer. Seem genuinely curious about what will help get results. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. You want to cut through the clutter. For more tips for job job seekers, and making all the other conversations you have more productive, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free. Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want here on this live Saturday edition. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. With you tonight, it's Ian and Mark. Don't forget, you can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you on our website. You can actually create the content that which is on the front page that you see when you go to freetalklive.com. That content as you scroll down that was all created by listeners like you. You have taken the time to go to our website and submit content. Maybe it's a YouTube video, a blog post, a news item, something you think is interesting that you think we'll appreciate and our, the listeners of the show will also appreciate because when you submit something, it becomes subject to voting, meaning that other listeners can vote it up if they like it or down if they don't. You can just go to uh, freetalklive.com. You can get interactive there. You do need to have two accounts, uh, one on our website, freetalklive.com, another on reddit.com. Then you link the two accounts together in a very simple process, and at that point it'll be easy for you to submit content right to the front page of the site and vote it up or down as you please. I'm not sure that this incident with the, uh, the young man who was in EMT training who was uh, – expelled, kicked out of the army, uh, facing a felony charge for having uh, a pocket knife. If this case, that the Freedom Cam would have been useful, but in a lot of cases where your car is getting searched, the Freedom Cam is going to be a very useful item. So this is a this is a camera that comes on when you turn on the key in the car. Um, it actually stays on a little bit after you turn the key off. So if you're in a roadside incident, whether you're in an accident or it's a law enforcement uh, situation, and it's 
it's great to have a, um, a a third party, a, an unbiased third party, and that's what this camera is. It records inside the vehicle, out the front of the vehicle, the speed, the location. It has infrared lasers. Now, this is something that really sets it apart from from the competition. Um, and actually, over freedomcam.net, they have two models, one with and one without the infrared. Um, you know, little laser things that kind of bathe mm-hmm. the interior of the cabin with infrared light. And I think it's it's great. Um, there's an LCD ex, uh, display on, on the other one. It's it's awesome. So Choices go check, are good. Yeah. It's good to have choices. Freedomcam.net, they accept Bitcoins, if you've been hearing about that. I have one in my car. Actually, both of the cars, both my cars. Ian, you have one in yours? I have one in the car that I drive. That's yes. right. <laughs> Freedomcam.net. All right, let's continue here with your calls and thoughts. We're talking about the EMT who is in hot water over having an EMT knife in his car while he was at school. Uh, first, we go to Jared, listening in Norfolk to WNIS in Virginia. Hey, Jared. Hello, how are you? Hey, super. What's on your mind tonight? Um, I'm that one person you've been looking for that uh, is in agreement with uh, everything that's happened. All so right, you, well, tell us think, about it. You think this EMT should be charged with a felony for having a knife in his car. You're happy about that? Well, first off, I do not I do not agree with the zero tolerance policy. I think it's kind of ridiculous. Okay. But the fact is it is a policy. It is not law, but in a sense the law and you do have to follow these. The reason we put these in is that way people can't do whatever they want. I never put any I mean, uh zero tolerance policy in, so don't don't hold me responsible for it. I don't think oh, you I'm did either. I'm not holding you responsible. I'm saying that, you know, this um, tech school in Ohio, if they have a zero tolerance policy, um, people are always talking about personal responsibility. And I think that um, this man should have had a little bit more personal responsibility in knowing that his school had a zero tolerance policy and not bring things that could be getting him in trouble. So, Jared, I, th- to one point, I understand what you're saying. Like, the rules are the rules, and we know what the rules are, so follow the rules, you won't get any trouble. And that's right. a that's a pretty way easy way to live life. Some might even call it simplistic. And let me um, rebut it, if I may. So okay. first off, um, the idea that we live in a nation of laws, and this is the con- this is the concept out of which your your thought process grows, is okay. laughably ignorant. Nine thousand years of the state has shown us that the people who make the rules don't have to follow them. Police officers rarely get tickets, if you haven't noticed, okay. and they're the lowest of the law enforcement level. Politicians, the New Jersey governor just a couple of years ago got in all kinds of trouble because they found out he had been for years driving around like a bat out of hell and a, um, having his drivers driving around like a bat out of hell in, in their SUVs just doing whatever they want. Um, the fact is that we don't live in a nation of laws. So the idea that you know the rules are the rules, well, the rules are the rules for you. But they're not the rules for the people who make them. Secondarily— well, I think that's a separate issue completely. I mean, that's well, making sure that the people who create the laws and enforce the laws follow them. But that's the reality. Now, what I'm saying, though, is that, um, like, I am sure that some people would look at this as an, oh, he didn't agree with this civil disobedience. You know, if I don't like this, you know, try and not follow it and see what happens. But the fact is, is that if he brought a—well, technically, yeah, a weapon to school— and, you know, he purposefully did that, then, you know, he can't be upset the fact that if he gets in trouble once he breaks those rules. So, I mean, look, this, this makes it really easy. So how about the fugitive slave laws? Um, if uh, in 1860 or 1855, if a, a black person, you're, you're, you're in one of the border states there, a black person um, is walking through your cornfield, are you going to uh, do what it takes to hold them until the authorities come so that they can take them back to slavery? It's the law now. I don't quite follow. I'm sorry. Um, okay, the law <laughs> laws aren't necessarily good. Oh, I I completely agree with that. So should and, but, do and, good people disobey bad laws? Is the question I'd ask you. Yeah, on that. that's fine. But the fact is, you do have to follow through and take the consequences that follow with these laws. So you think that um, you think it's good that this guy's facing a felony then? Because it'll make well, our, all our lives better. This has should, been happening I'm over and over. Fight it. Yeah, I mean. I feel like, yeah, if he feels like it's unjust, he should fight it. But the fact, well, yeah, well, I well, how feel about like this? they have the right to, you know, prosecute him. So how about this? 
I'm not saying that it's right, the person, morally right, but I'm saying if it's wrong, by law, yeah. If it's wrong, the person who made the rule should then, once a court decides that this is wrong, a court, the person who made the rule should sit in jail Repeal for a couple of law, years. Yeah. The court will not no, no, decide No, no, for a couple wrong. of years. You see, these people that make the rules face no consequences for what they do, I Jared, and I'm sick and tired of me facing the consequences for breaking rules that they don't have the consequences for making. They play poker, and they have no skin in the game. You can lose well, your life. That leads they to lose a separate nothing. issue completely of not making the people, you know, it's not separate um, equality under the law. Then that's you not, can't you know, make them follow their own laws. They won't follow well, their own laws. Then there has to be a way of making them do that. I'm not saying like uh, your first caller saying, you know, forcibly throw them out of office. I'm saying, um, you know, there's got to there has to be some way that the people are able to do that. People, people that make <laughs> <laughs> see, there are no the people. Okay, <laughs> this is the myth that's been around forever. The fact is, there's the ruling class, and the ruling class makes their rules, and you follow them or you don't, and they do what they do. They're never going to put in place restrictions on themselves. There's even actually here in uh, New Hampshire, and I'm sure it's it's duplicated elsewhere because a lot of legal systems have a lot of similarities, but. Uh, in New Hampshire, the district court rules, number one rule is the judge can waive the rules at any time because he can just make okay. it up. He can just make it up as he goes along. If he doesn't like the rules as they apply in a particular case, he can just waive them in the so-called interests of justice. So you don't like the rule, but you think that the rule, because the rule has been made, that we should follow the rule, go through the process, which of course favors uh, the people that you know set the process up and the people that work for the process, and then that's how the system works and the system's great. No, I'm saying that if you don't, I'm saying that if a rule is unjust, like, you know, this one obviously is, I think zero tolerance is a horrible, horrible policy. I'm saying if you don't like that, yeah, break the, you know, break the rules, you know, break the law, whatever. But you do have to follow through and, you know, oh, you know, suffer the consequences for this thing. But I can't be outraged. But doesn't that mean that you should? Oh, you can be outraged. I'm not saying that you can't be outraged, but. You know, there are consequences for your actions, even if well, you're obviously, right. obviously you consequences. If you walk into a cage with a hungry lion, you may get eaten. But the fact that the state is being compared in this instance to a mindless animal shows how mm-hmm. little consequence that the government bureaucrats, the principals, the cops, the judges, the prosecutors, mm-hmm. these people have for their actions. And I want these well, people I have held one question, then. responsible. You have a question? Go ahead. Yeah. Um, well, you're. I completely understand and follow, you know, the logic behind all of this, and I agree. Saying, you know, if we're not able to, con- if we're not able to control the people that we've elected, and you know, and they're not going to put restrictions on them, then what do we do in order to fix the society that we're in? Does that mean that we have to become part of the ruling class, or what? Well, I'd, I'd say that uh, this is, you know, relatively easy. Um, I think that. What you do is you allow competition in the area of governance. Um, up and re- up until recently, up until now, we have seen um, that government is tied to land. Government claims land. You have to pay taxes, which essentially come out to, to rent um, for all the okay. land you own. You are taxed on your labor. They own you essentially as uh, as tax cattle. And if you separate the government from the land and people can choose governments like they choose insurance policies or cell phone providers then you may very well see new competition and many innovations in the area of It's a great idea Mark but you are going to have to get control of the operations of government in order for them to allow competition. Thanks Jared for your call tonight appreciate it. Uh, 855-450 free and that to some extent is what the Free State Project is working towards is trying to uh, get elected. More coming up. Right now until March 18th, the flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have huge deals going fit any taste or budget, like donor oak laminate for an amazing 39 cents a square foot, beautiful carbonized bamboo for just $139, even spectacular Bellawood pre-finished Bolivian rosewood for an incredible $299 a square foot. Pick up free samples at hundreds of stores nationwide, plus special financing available and easy professional installation or expert advice for DIYers. But hurry, this sale ends March 18th. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. 
Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen with your Liberty Beat for Friday, March 14th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,376, silver opened at $21.50, and Bitcoin is trading at $632. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush, online, SovereignBTC.com. Support also comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy. 512-343-6494 or apply online at calldorothy.com NMLS 216624 Support for the Liberty Beat also comes from My Magic Mud available at Brave New Books or online at mymagicmud.com In the news, Facebook is one of the favorite tools of the NSA. That's the latest revelation from Edward Snowden as published on journalist Glenn Greenwald's website Intercept. According to Snowden, The NSA uses what's known as a man-on-the-side technique to disguise itself as a fake Facebook server. Codenamed Quantum Hand, the maneuver allows the agency to transmit data packets that trick the computer into thinking they're legitimately sent from Facebook. That allows the NSA full access into the targeted computer. The Washington Times reports that, if confirmed, the program would put millions of Facebook users at risk. On Thursday, the Food and Drug Administration Commissioner stated that the agency is still deciding whether to approve a genetically engineered fish. FDA Commissioner Margaret Hamburg said they were reviewing over 30,000 comments on the Aquabounty salmon. Speaking to the U.S. Senate's Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, Hamburg said they are moving forward in a deliberate, science-driven way. All it would take to bring down the entire United States power grid is the sabotage of nine of the more than 55,000 electric substations across the nation. That's the finding of a study by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, which shows that only a few substations provide the bulk of the nation's electricity. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering Pro-Pure Water Filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online at bravenewbookstore.com. Support comes from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com, and from growyourowngroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 14th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. As President Obama's decision on the northern leg of the Keystone XL pipeline inches closer, He's being encouraged by a former advisor. Retired General James Jones, a former Obama administration national security advisor, asked the president to approve the pipeline to send a message to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Jones said the president must make it clear that international bullies cannot use energy security as a weapon. Attorney General Eric Holder on Thursday voiced his support for shorter prison sentences for nonviolent drug traffickers as part of a Justice Department effort. The New York Times reports the push to lower sentences is viewed as a way to bring down federal prison costs while creating a more humanitarian approach to drug crimes. Holder told the Sentencing Commission that in a country where nearly half of all federal inmates are serving time for drug offenses, the harshest penalties should be reserved 
for violent criminals. At the age of 27, Stephen Power suffered serious injuries to his face and skull as a result of a motorcycle crash. Power's skull, upper jaw, nose, and cheekbones were shattered. For years, doctors struggled with facial reconstructive surgery, but now with the help of 3D printing, Power has been given a new face. Doctors at Morriston Hospital in Wales use 3D printing to create models to fashion new bones and facial implants. They used a combination of 3D printed materials and medical grade titanium to reconstruct Power's skull with precision never before seen. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online at affordablesound.com or give them a call 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 14th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Friends of local man Carl Brewster told reporters this week they are all absolutely at a loss as to how he is not completely depressed. I've known Carl for years now, and he really is a great guy, you know, super nice. But honestly, I don't know how he doesn't go home and cry himself to sleep every night. I mean, walks dogs for a living and no one will ever date him. I really don't get it. Saying that they were baffled at how their close friend managed to remain even moderately happy day in and day out given his life circumstances, sources confirmed they were regularly confronted with Carl's perplexingly gregarious and affable demeanor. I mean, Carl's life really, really sucks, but somehow he manages to wave good morning to me every time I see him and he always has this big smile on his face. Yeah, maybe he's on some kind of medication. Things have always been really awful for Carl. But he's never really been depressed. I mean, I make three times as much money as him, and I'm totally miserable. Honestly, we all thought he would have killed himself by now, but he hasn't. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want right here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 as we launch into the second hour of this live Saturday edition of the program. For those of you just tuning in, it was in the last hour where we were talking about a, a, an 18-year-old uh, EMT who had his car searched uh, while he was at a government technical school. Uh, kind of like a, a vocational technical school. They came to him. They took him out of class. They told him, we've got reason to believe that you may have a weapon. And the reason why they believe that was because somebody had made a report about him and his YouTube channel. And apparently in said YouTube channel, there were videos, uh, one in which he kind of, I guess, I don't know if it was like survival videos or something like that, but uh, they, he did reviews of video games and merchandise, home defense tactics. That was probably what got him in hot water, and also uh, he, he interviewed a local police officer. Young man wants to be a police officer, wants to join the military, and in fact had already signed up to join the military. Now found uh, now he has found that all of that has been put on hold as he's facing a felony charge for having an EMT knife in his EMT kit in his car while at school. And uh, we're going to continue with you and your thoughts here. Let's go to... Irv, listening in Tallahassee to WVFT on the FM band. Hey, Irv. Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, I'm going to have to agree with the, the last caller, honestly. Uh, we're talking about freedom here. So, I mean, this, this guy had the freedom to go to this school. He chose to go to this school. This school gave him a handbook with rules and regulations. One of those was that you could not carry any type of knives or, or he guns wasn't or carrying whatever. a knife it was in his car well no no but okay but okay but that, that's one of the rules that was one of the rules all right and i mean i mean yes but wait a making, second what, what, what you're missing here is the involvement of the state so first off, this vocational technical institute takes money from the government. So therefore, um, when you take money from the government, you must respect the rights of people, including those the right to protect oneself. Second, yeah, what about the right to bear arms? Secondarily, um, when somebody comes on my property, I have a no knives allowed uh, rule. I don't get to charge them with a fifth degree felony. I can only say, excuse me, sir, you may take your knife and leave. 
and that's my only option. So you're not exactly equating one with the other here. This isn't just the rules. This is the law. I agree. But if this, okay, if this, this person that had called in this tip, if we were talking about anything other than the guy, if we were talking about this guy having a, a, a carload of, 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 you know, a semi-automatic machine gun, who was, who, was, who was intent on, on blowing up this school. or You or, have no or, idea or, what the uh, intention of a person with a car full of semi-automatic machine guns is. He could have been going to a gun show after after school. <laughs> there we go. But what does it matter? Uh, I mean, what, what's the hypothetical matter in this particular case? That wasn't what was happening. Right. He, 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 like you said, like the gentleman before said, he, there was a rule in place at this school, and he chose not to follow it. That's Agreed. Funny, How is he supposed point. to go to school then? I mean, look, all the kid wants is to be expelled. And if you were talking about a private school that had a private rule about a knife, then that's all you'd be talking about here. But this is government involvement, including a felony. I mean, you're going back to the same thing, which I've already rebutted here. This is a government school dishing out a government punishment. He can't go and to they're doing it in school. my name, and I retract my uh, consent. Okay, you're talking about on your property, on your personal property, you can post a sign that says this guy cannot bring a knife. If he decides to bring a knife, you're just going to ask him to leave. That's, That's your all only you can option. Do. If That's, this was a private school, which you suggested, and they had a no-knife policy, then all they could do is expel somebody. I went to private schools. You, I know. Okay, just to clarify, if someone's on your property and you don't want them there for whatever reason— uh, maybe they broke your rules, or maybe you just don't like the way they look. You can ask them to leave, and if they don't leave, then it's criminal trespassing. So if you ask someone to leave and they don't leave, you can have them physically removed. They could be charged with criminal trespassing, but they didn't give him that chance here. They didn't say, oh, well, you're not allowed to have the, a knife on school campus. You need to remove it now. They didn't give him that opportunity. They just went right to the criminal charges. No, they, they gave him that up front. When, they, when, when he filled out, when he went to orientation... And he was given his handbook. They do the he same thing at the front. bar that I Are go you... to. There's a warning on the door that says no weapons. But if I get caught with a weapon inside, I don't get a weapons charge. I just get removed from the uh, the bar. Don't you think that no, would be a little more arrested. sensible? Or you Are you the kind of person who just jumps to the maximum penalty? No, you get arrested. If you walk into a bar with a gun, you're going to get arrested. Oh, Not sorry, brother. You live in, t uh, in Florida. Things are a little different down <laughs> yeah, there. I Stay down there. In, in New Hampshire, <laughs> you can go into the state house where the representatives are with a gun. And that's safe. I don't care it's totally whether it's safe. safe. It's the rules. You should love it. You should be falling down on the ground and <laughs> praising heaven because it's the rules. Thanks, Irv, for your call tonight. Appreciate it. 855 450 free. Let's go to Tammy. Nothing's happened, by the way. Been what? Uh, New Hampshire's been a right. state a hell of a lot longer than Florida has, and nothing's happened. Yeah, everything's fine in the state house because you know what? The state reps are armed, too. Let's go to Tammy. Tammy, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, great. Uh, and by the way, you're in Bozeman, Montana, listening to KMMS. Go ahead with your thoughts tonight. Yes, I am. Please don't yell at me. I am. <laughs> I do not agree with your last couple callers. I think it's ridiculous that this young man has been, you know, uh, used the way he is. But he's mm. one of the few that is actually wanting to serve his country. I think um, our um, education system has beaten our children down. And here we have a young man that um, actually wants to serve, and that's why they're going after him because he actually has a mind of his own. Well, but they they give all, they give people paychecks for going in the military. They give people paychecks for being um, in the police. I mean, there's no. I know the military, but he was he actually enrolled or was yeah he, he was in the military. Um, like, he was, R he was he, not ROTC. No, he, he was, was not. I think it was in like an early enrollment. I mean, I mean he was still going to yeah, school, so yeah. he wasn't, uh, you know, deployed or anything like he that. He wasn't fully enrolled. So, yeah, they're trying to weed him out. That's what I'm saying. Why would they want to they're weed him to out? Weed him out. Because you take a look at the kids that are going in that, okay, I come from a state where we have a huge uh, amount of kids go into the military service, okay? Okay. So they... They're looking now to change the military and the minds of the kids that go in. The kids that are coming up and doing things, they're not of the same mindset of the past, okay? Can you give they're me a more concrete example of what you mean by that? Okay, the, the whole thing. I, my son goes to school, and he's 17 years old, and I'm trying to um, 
break him down from telling me that we um, we deserve what we get with uh, the whole, you know, chickens coming home to roost, I guess. You can't tell me that you, you haven't seen that they're trying to change the military from the inside out. You've seen that, have you not? Um, I don't know what you mean. I know that in recent years there have been uh, recruiting issues with the military, considering that you know when people start dying uh, in foreign countries for no reason whatsoever, the recruiting ability goes down. It make, becomes harder to recruit people to go and die but for no reason. But the economy got bad, and then they started get, recruitment went back it up. It did go a little bit back up. But yeah, for a little while they were cutting back on the qualifications in the army at least as far as what it would you know what it's required to get in the military but i've never heard of them saying to somebody who really wants to join the military that they don't want them i mean that seems kind of paranoid well i'm i'm not paranoid um i've just you know i've i've heard about people going and then they're being told that you can't stand up and you can't for your beliefs you know for one thing you can't um hardly be Christian anymore within the military. Well, the, no. the Air Force I mean, had a Air, Air Force had a recent issue where um, there, it was a couple of years ago, where essentially I think it was Colorado Springs where they're they're um, they had this big outfit and they were actually running out people who didn't have Christian beliefs. So there was uh, to some extent, okay. you know, I mean, it's I get well, what you're that, coming that from. It's a big melting pot, right? And so there's they're trying to f- sort of smooth off the rough rough edges. Well, I don't I've think seen you can... evidence that uh, the military has gotten less sort of physically tough on recruits in the past, and I... th- as they had in the, in the past. I like to point out that I don't think you can be a real Christian and join the military personally, because who would Jesus kill? Hey, Tammy, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition. More coming up. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. You guys uh, catch my State of the Union address the other night? That was very nice. Hey, this is George Bush? <laughs> I'm afraid so, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's fantastic to have you listening to the show. <laughs> I wanted you... to run some uh, new ideas I had past you guys. Okay, cool. We'll be your uh, sounding board there, Prez. Ice Cream Day. I love Every Ice day. Cream Day. It's well, awesome. We should have Ice Cream Month and different flavors, just like yeah. uh, Baskin Robbins. Every Friday, Americans get free ice cream. Now, so I don't know where. about that. Now, wait a minute. From where, George? Ice Cream Angel's going to bring it down? 
Yeah. What about this one, guys? Uh, everybody gets a pony in America. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Texan. <laughs> Presidents have a habit of just getting up and saying what sounds good, and then you don't do anything about it. I mean, really, you're not going to do anything. We all know that. Well, most presidents don't do some of the things they promise. I promise not to do all of those things. <laughs> awesome. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on Earth? Most coffee at grocery stores and chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, BuzzBox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, bring up whatever you want right here toll-free on the live Saturday edition. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username there is lrn.fm, so feel free to utilize that if you so choose. With you in studio, it's Ian. And Mark. And Mark, we've talked a lot on Free Talk Live about Bitcoin. Some who are in our listening audience may have decided they're ready, ready to take the first step. Yeah, well, if you want to take the first step, what you're going to need is you're going to need a wallet. And that's... Uh, basically an online account. And you can go get a free online account at what essentially is the world's best Bitcoin bank, blockchain.info. Now, they've got a lot of tools besides a wallet to help you out. And you can explore this expansive site anytime you want at blockchain.info. But probably the first thing you need to do is create some kind of wallet. So you go to blockchain.info, right at the top on that navigation bar, right in the middle is going to be wallet. Click on that, and it'll give you the option to start a new wallet mm -hmm. right there. For you can free. do it for free. Now, the difference between this blockchain.info and a bank is blockchain never possesses your money. When you go to a bank, you give them the money. They have control of it. If the government comes and says, we'd like that money that uh, Joe Smith put in, the bank's going to give it to them because the government gives them their licenses. Blockchain.info never has possession of your money. It's all encrypted right in your browser. And that makes them hmm, a big step ahead of banking institutions around the world. Another thing about Bitcoins is it doesn't respect international boundaries. If I want to buy something from Tiger Direct through Bitcoin, I can be in the United States. I can be in Belize. I can be in Iran. It doesn't matter. I don't know about Iran. There might be sanctions. Um, I can be anywhere that uh, that they'll ship, and it, it's that easy. Block, bitcoins don't don't they aren't an they aren't a national currency. They're an international currency, and they're they're fascinating. They're making the world a better place, and I'm excited about them. Go to blockchain.info to get your free wallet. And what's really great about it is you can access access the same account both through your laptop and through your smartphone. So blockchain.info. All right, let's go to the phones and continue with your calls and thoughts. Rob's listening in Lynchburg, Virginia, to WLNI-FM. Hey, Rob. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, great. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I, I agree with you. This this guy with the, the EMT kid with the, just a, his little knife out in the car. It's crazy rules, rules, government control. But, but really, my take is it's a chickification of our culture. It's almost the chickification? illegal to be a boy anymore. Absolutely. What do you mean by that? It's illegal to be a boy. You can't be a boy. Boys like to shoot guns, and they like to. And if you if you put your finger like a gun, and you're you're six years old in a school and go pow, they throw you out. If, mm, you, if this, you know, boys, 
That happened to that's happened multiple occasions, including a deaf kid whose name is Hunter, and his <laughs> name actually is the, uh, the the gun symbol. That's right. Um, so right. that much is true. Exactly. I think to some extent what you're saying is true, and to some extent what you're saying is perception. Right. Like you've got this gender role that is, um, you know, males and what males do. And yeah, I would agree that there's a lot about that stuff that's sort of under attack and it's becoming unpopular. But at the same time, you know, a guy a, a guy can bake a cake and uh, dance in ballet and it doesn't make him womanly. It just makes him a dude with a different interests. Sure. But, but what our society and culture is doing is suppressing natural male behavior, which is very militarily useful when China's on the rise with an army of a larger population than we have. I'm more you worried know? about the United States. I'm more, more worried about uh, D.C. than I am Beijing. Absolutely. You well, don't realistically think China's right. going to invade the United States, do you? They're going to buy it. <laughs> they're going to they're collect the <laughs> well, debt. You, know, you, you can spiral off in a lot of different directions, and I like all those directions. But, uh, you know, even if you're up there and, and live free or die, New Hampshire or whatever, it's it's useful for male Americans to have firearms and be... I, mean, they used to I don't disagree with that for a anyone. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with that for a in second. In fact, I think it's far more useful for females uh, to have firearms because typically females don't have the, the build. God that, made that man, males. John Colt, but Colt made him equal, right? Well, right. I mean, females, I mean, historically uh, are not as bodily strong as males in general i make a general statement i'm pretty weak myself but uh you know having a firearm can really help out a, a lady so i think that anyone should should be able to have whatever weapons they want uh, as long as they're using them in a safe manner and they're not endangering others well you know in a free country free men are able to have arms and in in, the, in america in my lifetime the federal government supported good riflery you know when we went over to world war one we just crushed because our boys all shot squirrels, and, and you know, the Europeans were amazed at our Marines' marksmanship. You know, the, the average American needs to be familiar with They, they should have riflery classes in high school. They Not used to. saying you can't have your knife out in your med kit, out in your car. Rob, thanks for your call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you at 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Dennis in Concord, New Hampshire, uh, the, the very place where you can walk into the state house while carrying a firearm. Go ahead, Dennis. Yeah, so this, this story brings up a number of interesting points. And, of course, one of them is just uh, how unlikely it would be in New Hampshire where there are no knife laws of any kind on the books. There's just no laws about knives here. And it's They actually, it was point. a Free State Project participant who helped get rid of the, uh, the knife laws in New Hampshire. Isn't that right? That's right. And, in fact, the lady who did that, she's a Free State Project participant who got herself elected to the House of Representatives. And when she gave her speech on the floor of the House, about why her bill should go through, the bill that, you know, eliminated all the knife laws, she talked about the fact that she was, in fact, an EMT. And she talked about the very issue that the gentleman called in earlier about, that she needs to carry a knife with her because of the issue of, for example, having to split someone's uh, seatbelt off of them to, to rescue them from the car if they were in a seatbelt, and that was endangering their lives, which does happen. And, um, you know, the, just <laughs> the power that is there when ordinary citizens, ordinary people can get themselves elected into the House of Representatives in a state and start doing actually normal, common sense things like getting rid of laws, um, it actually happens. And, you know, you had callers earlier talking about changing Washington. I mean, good luck. Even if we had a president who was a complete libertarian, you know, Ron Paul or whatever, you honestly think that that one individual is going to roll back 200 years of bureaucracy and entrenched interest. No and, way. No, or, but what's so, happened in New so, Hampshire is is uh, unprecedented here in the United States is that the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance has 80 people, about that, about 80 people in the, the New Hampshire House that are members. Now, these are people that have scored through their votes, uh, and the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance rates their votes too, scored through their votes 80% or more uh, pro-liberty which means that there is, in effect, a libertarian veto in the state of New Hampshire. The, Repu the, the, the conservatives, the liberals, whatever tyrannical law they want to get through, it has to go through the libertarian veto. And in most cases, it doesn't make it. Yeah, all, all the armchair philosophizing about throw the bums out isn't going to matter a damn in Washington. 
And it is very unique in New Hampshire that because of the fact that we don't pay our representatives, we pay them 100 bucks a year, it really is just ordinary folks. It's, it's carpenters and EMTs and retirees. Uh, and they're the ones getting elected. Yeah, and it makes a big difference when it comes to uh, the laws that get passed because they're not being written by lawyers for lawyers for the benefit of the lawyer industrial complex. And uh, thank you, Dennis, for your call tonight. Of course, you can check out the Free State Project at freestateproject.org. That's if you actually want to see liberty in your lifetime and you want to do something to achieve that. If you just want to complain, yeah, I would say hold off on joining the Free State Project. More coming up. You take control here on Free Talk Live. You can complain to us. There are many things the human body can do very well, but maintaining the proper pH level isn't always one of them. That's where AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops can make a world of difference. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps your body do what's natural. Just a few drops a day helps rid your body of harmful waste and acid while promoting health and restoring vibrance and energy. Alkalizing boosts your immune system and can help fight headaches, irritability, cramping, and insomnia. Alkalizing also helps the body fight depression and even bone loss. To learn more about the importance of alkalizing and how you can find life-changing and vital balance, please visit AlkaVision's brand new website at AlkaVision.com. Same great products, but now easier to use and more informative than ever before. To get your very own plasma pH drops for just $29.95, call 800-518-7615 or visit AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Alkalize your body and supercharge your health at the new alcavision.com we know you're out there we can feel you now we know that you're afraid you're afraid of us you're afraid of change we don't know the future we aren't here to tell you how this is going to end We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasing.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. I'm Nick Soboleski, a SelectQuote agent with a true story of how SelectQuote goes to bat for you buying term life insurance. A while back, a man called me who had had prostate cancer. He asked if I could beat a very high quote another life insurance agent had given him. I said, let me see. Well, I took his pertinent information, then shopped the highly rated, price competitive companies we represent, and found one who pre-approved him for a premium way below what he had been quoted. When it comes to term life insurance, no other company touches select quotes, experience, and expertise in finding the right policy at the right price for almost anyone. How about you? For your free quote, call 1-800-945-1041. That's 1-800-945-1041. 1-800-945-1041. Or go to selectquote.com. We shop, you save. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm.
Free Talk Live. Bring up anything here on the live Saturday edition. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. So feel free to connect with us that way if you like. We're going to continue with your calls, but I also want to remind you about squarespace.com. If you've been thinking about building a website then Squarespace.com can help you out. You can, in fact, go there and get started with their free trial account. You don't have to give up any credit card information to get started building your site right now. You just give up your email address, and they will give you access to pretty much all their features. And once you're ready to sign up for their hosting, you can get a free domain name if you sign up for a year, and it's just $8 per month over at Squarespace.com. It's so easy to use Squarespace. Drag and drop. You drag and drop to add content from your desktop and even rearrange content elements right there within your page. If you get stuck, there's 24-7 support available, and they're constantly improving their platform with new features, new designs, and even better support. Now, their templates are something to behold. They're very professionally done. You don't have to be some sort of graphics major to be able to handle your own website with Squarespace.com. They've got it all pre-done for you. Now, if you are somebody who knows how to handle the, you know, the back end of a website, if you do know HTML and you want to get into the guts of your site, you can do that with Squarespace.com. But Squarespace is built for any level of user. So if you are totally, you know, nearly clueless about online websites, you can use Squarespace.com to build your own site. And if you're an expert, you can also use Squarespace.com and, and tinker around as much as you want. It's a great site and they've got 99.99% uptime as rated by web hosting stuff. So go to Squarespace.com. You can get started right now. When you're ready to sign up and uh, and officially purchase their hosting, you can use our discount code to get an even better deal. You can save 10% by using FTL3 as your discount code. That's FTL, like Free Talk Live, and the number 3 at Squarespace.com. By the way, every Squarespace re uh, website has a mobile design, too. Their sites are all responsive, meaning that you view the site on whatever device, and it looks right for that device. Squarespace.com. These guys know what they're doing when it comes to web design and web hosting, and you can go and get started tonight with your free trial account at Squarespace.com. Again, use code FTL and the number three when you're ready to sign up. As we continue here with you and your thoughts, 855-450-FREE is the number. Mike is listening in Virginia Beach to WNIS. Hey, Mike. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome, sir. I, I wanted to call and make a point about uh, Rand Paul, but first I have to ask a question to the people that agree with the uh, state of Iowa's actions. What happened? Ohio, in oh, Ohio, but it could be any state. You're talking Ohio, about the young man who was uh, who's been arrested for having a knife in his car at school, which was he is an M EMT. So go ahead. Right. When they call paramedics, does the ambulance have to stop off their property, drop off their knives and needles before they enter the property? <laughs> That's Still a good an one. EMT with a knife. Oh no. <laughs> Good one. All right. What else? And, and uh, with Rand Paul, I used to like Rand Paul until uh, the last election. He turned his back on his dad, Ron Paul, because the Republican Party dangled a nomination carrot in front of him. How did he turn his back on his dad? What do you mean by that? Uh, it was still in the primaries. He said, yeah, vote for my dad. Go, Ron Paul. Go. All of a sudden, uh, the uh, GOP had a meeting with him. Nope, nope. Go, Romney. Nope, nope. There's something right oh. for my dad. Yeah, at some point, he, he endorsed Romney, but wasn't that after Ron Paul was out? I mean, I can't really, I guess the chronology of it is kind of confusing me here, but it, it would seem very strange that uh, Rand would endorse, while his dad's still in the race, would endorse uh, Romney. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised to even think about that. Yeah, it was in the uh, middle of the primaries. It was right before Michigan, I think. Well, I'm going to have to check that out. Okay. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if he sold his own dad down the river. <laughs> I mean, this guy is a politician from the word go, and I don't care if he's a real libertarian but really hiding it so he can get elected. Uh, it's I'm not going to be excited about somebody like that. I was excited about Ron Paul. I gave a couple thousand dollars to Ron Paul over the two campaigns that he ran because I saw Ron Paul as a real vehicle to get the ideas of liberty out there. I didn't think Ron Paul was going to win. 
I mean, gosh, that'd be nice, but I didn't wasn't under the mistaken belief that that was even a realistic possibility. But I but what was a possibility with Ron Paul was that he was going to get in debates and he was going to talk about the ideas of liberty in a way that people could understand and maybe get interested in and go look further into and learn about and then come on board with those ideas. To me, Ron Paul was an educational campaign, not a political campaign. And Rand Paul doesn't have any of that because he doesn't have the same principles his dad does. He's not a libertarian. He's come right out and said that. He supports uh, the war on drugs. Okay, maybe he supports some minor tweaks to marijuana policy, but barely. And he's a, you know, a border warrior. He's uh, talking about creating sanctions against the Russian people to punish uh, Putin, etc. I mean, there's just issue after issue where this guy is not taking a pro-liberty stance, and I don't see why anybody who loves liberty would want to get behind someone like that. It's very confusing to me. Yeah, I was saying I was, you know, uh, for him back, you know, before the uh, primaries with Ron Paul. Yeah, I was hoping for the 10 percent. I knew there was no way the established, you know, government was going to let Ron Paul actually get anywhere. But just that 10 percent to get that federal funding. That's all we needed. Now, um, the well, the federal, federal funding, funding. I mean, the, for what? 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 Uh, the um, funding for the elections and automatically going about the uh, for who? Uh, Democrats or Republicans can pull public money for their campaign. Sure. Libertarians and third parties. He wasn't can't. running as a libertarian. No, he's running though. as a Republican. It's still the libertarian ideal. That everyone knows he's still a libertarian. Right, but he wouldn't have gotten any matching. Oh, uh, Jerry, he was running as a. The libertarians Jerry wouldn't have gotten a, anything a out of his campaign. Time. I mean, you're thinking about Gary Johnson in that case. That's who you're voting for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, for as far as the <laughs> matching yeah, funds. I didn't vote for and Gary yeah, I got, I got you. Same here. <laughs> but <laughs> Gary Johnson did, to his credit, get over a million votes, which was the first time that had happened since 1980. And let's for not forget that Ron Paul was shot down by a um, a private organization, the Republican Party, um, not by a government. Agency. I mean, they never had to get that far. The the Republicans basically, you know, took his delegates and shut him up, drove him around in a bus so they couldn't vote. Did a whole variety of da- dirty, nasty tricks and uh, prevented him from participating. And lest you think the uh, Democrats are somehow uh, better as far as this issue goes, they did the same thing to their delegates uh, during this convention when it came to uh, voting on. Some weird issue about um, tele, or excuse me, Jerusalem being the capital of Israel. I don't know what it was, but I watched it and I was just amazed. Mike, any other thoughts you want to share tonight? Yeah. Well, I well, there's also the issue of you know the primaries in Maine, Iowa, and a couple other places. That's a whole other story. Yep, they're twisted. <laughs> you mean where they screwed over the Ron Paul uh, supporters in those primaries? Yeah, like where even Ron Paul had, had the highest numbers, but CNN came out. Up, oh, it's Michelle Bachman. No, no, look over there. Look over here, it's Michelle Bachman. She won. Hey, Mike, thanks for your call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And the real tragedy about Rand Paul getting all the support from libertarians is that, well, it's not an outreach campaign, right? Because Rand Paul isn't talking about liberty. He's just he's just the best politician. He's the most the be, he's good on some issues, but not so much on others. So that's all that people really are get, you know giving or getting behind Rand for is because he's just the best option of all the politicians from their perspective. Why that's wouldn't not you vote for the best the ideas, option? Because it doesn't matter in the federal elections, Mark. Uh, it doesn't matter a whit. Ron Paul wasn't about voting for Ron Paul. Ron Paul was about getting the ideas of liberty out. That was what he was about for you. And yeah, my, I, and for a question, lot of people who actually care have, about freedom. The question I'd have for you on this, though, is you know, people are going to get involved in the Rand Paul campaign the same way they got involved in the Ron Paul campaign. And can those people be brought on board to the larger liberty message from Rand Paul's campaign? And I think they can. Um, I also think Rand Paul, because of his uh, political acumen, has the ability to actually get elected. Now, the question is here for me is – is a smaller government actually better than a larger government? And I don't know the answer to You're that. You're not going to get a smaller government out of Rand Paul. As uh, was pointed out earlier by Dennis, even if Ron Paul were to be elected, uh, there's very, very little that he would be able to do as one man in Washington. And Rand Paul certainly hasn't pledged to pull the troops home from overseas or anything like that. His foreign policy is a heck of a lot better than the other people I've seen uh, yeah. running. That may be true. But again, if, uh, if all the people who are spending time and money on Rand Paul's campaign were to spend that same amount of time and money 
working in New Hampshire to get people elected here. We'd actually have wins as far as politics is concerned instead of a bunch of people throwing money down the toilet. Well, I don't know what they're going to do after the Rand Paul campaign, but you don't get to direct how people spend their time. I sure don't, but I get to talk about it. 855 450 free, and I think it's a bad idea. I'm going to say it. And you can share your thoughts here because, you know, if you want to actually win for liberty, you can move to New Hampshire and you can actually win elections here as we've been doing. Rand may win. (laughs) And then liberty won't if he does. We're coming up. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free. Free 
Free Talk Live, Saturday edition. We're here live, 855-453 is the toll-free number, and that is brought to you by ProXPN. That's 855-450-3733. Mark, are you glad to be back to your BuzzBox coffee now that you've been gone for a week? You know, um, it's hard to get good coffee once you've had BuzzBox coffee. Um, BuzzBox coffee is premium coffee. It's best of the best. It's it's shade-grown. It's 100% organic. And, th- you know, it's difficult to trust these uh, store brands that uh, that you buy that say organic, and they, maybe they'll say, say shade-grown. I've had a very difficult time finding store brand that says shade-grown. Many of these, these brands will sit around for way too long, grow mold on them before they get uh, roasted. It's uh, Their processes aren't as strict as buzz boxes are. Um, and that you know leaves me feeling better. And I can tell you that you can tell as far as the taste goes. Uh, Buzzbox is competitively priced with other high-end coffees, but they do something entirely different than other uh, high-end coffees do. They really attempt to help people. Uh, they they uh, buy from a coffee co-op that they cultivate. This isn't in the sense of um, fair trade, although it's considered fair trade. This this isn't that formula. What this is is they've actually set up a system where people can buy, get into this the coffee co-op, and they can uh, sell their coffee to Buzzbox. And yeah, they do make more than um, you know than per pound than many of the big coffee producers do. But that's because it's shade grown. You can't produce nearly as much coffee on an acre of land when it's shade-grown coffee. So these families have an opportunity to really pull themselves up out of the mire. And then Free Talk Live teams up with you, bringing the the message of BuzzBox, and we're attempting to set up a th- 100 microloans. That means we need 1,000 listeners to uh, team up with us, and we'll, we're going to put 100 microloans that help people in these same communities start businesses of their own, and this really does change lives. We're giving people a hand up instead of a handout, and I believe that that's what allows people to, to break the generational chains of poverty. So go to coffee.freetalklive.com and get a free pound of the best coffee. Now, you're going to have to sign up for the subscription. You can cancel it at any time, and you pay the shipping on the the free pound. But it's a great deal. This is great coffee. Try it for yourself. We've got a couple of different varieties there for you to pick from. Coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, our toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. Let's go to the phones and to the fun, starting with James in Charleston, West Virginia. He's listening to WVTS. Hey, James. Hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Long time no talk to you. You are on the air. Go ahead with your thoughts. Yes, I wanted to say that that incident concerning that young the, the teacher in what state was that again? Ohio, a uh, young man Ohio. who's an EMT has been arrested, charged with a felony for having an EMT knife in his car at school. I believe that, our, that we have a, a major problem in this country right now, and it's called paranoia. <laughs> we we have passed all these laws and these school guidelines, and we basically throw the baby out with the bathwater. And I think that it has a lot to do with what happened in uh, Columbine. I've been listening, you know, over the time when I'm not in, in, in school, uh, doing uh, about all the stuff that's going on. And it seems like that any time somebody, like a kid, draws a picture of a gun, oh, God, you know, they think he's going to become a homicidal maniac. Or, uh, like you said, the guy, who, the deaf kid whose name's Hunter, his symbol's a gun. Okay, they're all worried about that. And... We've become so paranoid that it's it's becoming it's it's just becoming ridiculous. Yeah, you really does make you wonder what uh, what's going to happen. How, you know, how much farther can this go when they're uh, arrest? You know, they're expelling kids. They're giving them uh, charges in some cases. Uh, there was one incident where it was a they, the kid had a Lego a gun from a Lego figure, <laughs> and they actually I think they suspended that uh, little boy for possessing mm. a two and a half inch long plastic piece of plastic shaped like a gun. Well, don't forget, you also can't possess, uh, you know, like a butter knife in your lunchbox. You can't possess an aspirin. an aspirin or an inhaler that you have a prescription for. You can't You can't have it. I agree with you, Mark. Where does it go from here? How much more right. ridiculous How can it be? How much more ridiculous could it possibly get? And I guess we're going to have to wait around another 10 years, 15, excuse me, five years and find out because I, I don't know. I would suggest all parents who actually care about this stop waiting around and get their kids out of government school. Don't don't wait to find out what they're going to go after your kid for. It's going to 
I, I don't disagree with that, your advice, but I think it's going to be, you know, government school is, in a lot of people's minds, free. Now, obviously, nothing costs so much as free mm. when it comes to the government. I agree with you on that. I mean, I've uh, I served in the military for almost a decade, and I have great respect for uh, my country and some of the laws we passed, but some of them are pretty darn stupid. It's better to obey the spirit of the law than the letter of the law sometimes, because the letter of the law is written by men. Yeah, well, and, and they, they don't they don't uh, they don't obey it anyway. Thanks for your call, Thank James. You. Appreciate hearing from you. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Jesse is listening in Madison, Wisconsin, to the mic ninety two point one WXXM. Hey, Jesse. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, yeah, I think I think obviously this whole situation with this kid in Ohio is insane. I don't I don't see how any reasonable person can think otherwise. Apparently, uh, like the they uh, have been calling in tonight. They uh, Their viewpoint, I, I agree with you, they're not reasonable, but the viewpoint of the person who supports what's happening to this young man in Ohio is, well, the rules are the rules, and even if we don't agree with the rules, they should be enforced. That's basically yeah, the summary. It, yeah, I wish I could say I was surprised that you were even able to find him, but I'm not. And I think the one guy who called in was being a, a bit disingenuous when he said he didn't follow your uh, hypothetical about the slave in the cornfield or whatever. Mm. But uh, either way, I think that uh, if I can put on my tinfoil hat here for a sure. second, I think that it's not a surprise that we're seeing a rise of, I mean, I'm 29 years old and in my lifetime, you know, the zero tolerance things and all this insane stuff that's happening. And at the same time, we're seeing a hyper militarization almost of our police forces. I mean, even in rural areas, cop, I mean, police stations are acquiring you know, armored vehicles that are landmine resistant and just like, you know, and at the same time, we're not even allowed to have a pocket knife in our car anymore. And yeah, as a matter of fact, I, I saw one of these L wraps or L wraps or something like that. One of these man landmine resistant vehicles, <laughs> uh, you know, I guess being delivered to a police station, right? Because of all the IEDs going off in the United States, right? right. Is yeah. that what they're expecting? Is they're expecting U.S. citizens to be setting off LEDs on their IEDs? Uh, IEDs, <laughs> what, uh, LEDs, LEDs are lights. Yeah, um, <laughs> IEDs. They had those. They had LEDs in Boston, and they shut down the whole city for that. Remember it's, that story? The the, the story. moon men or whatever. The what are the moon nights? Moon nights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know if you heard about that story, Jesse, but it was a few years ago where uh, a couple of artists put up LED boards, like light bright boards, with Moon Knight characters on it from one of the Cartoon Network cartoons, and they shut down several blocks in Boston and brought out like every cop in the city they thought for the a Joker major overreaction. Attacked. No, I actually hadn't heard about that, but I'm not surprised. I mean, it seems like Boston is the, the proving ground for you know these these insane policies and martial law they might be trying to implement, but... uh. I think that uh, anyone who thinks that these things are based on paranoia or some kind of folly, I mean, like I said, I hate to sound too paranoid, but I think that that's a mistake. I think that, you know, there's a reason these things are happening and people need to realize that. They definitely want uh, to train obedience into people. Thank you, Jesse, for your call tonight. Appreciate it. Uh, Toll free numbers 855 450 free. I, d- the, I don't the state tend to wants think... you to be obedient because you're then more docile and more easily controlled. I agree with that. I, I agree that there are, you know, little steps that are taken to make you more docile and more controlled, but it's, I don't think that the major news stories are orchest- orchestrated by a major cabal. Um, I think that that's, uh, that's, it's difficult for me to swallow. Did he suggest that? I must have missed that part. No, of I'm just, you know, he kept on using the term paranoid, and I think that there are some people are that are that paranoid, right? But I, I think what he was getting at, though, was the idea that there is some sort of plan afoot at whatever level to make people more obedient. I mean, there's no doubt that the government school system was founded with that purpose in mind, this kind Absolutely. of Prussian school system, right? Right. Th- um, that's, that's the whole purpose of the government school system. It doesn't mean that all the teachers are in on the plan, but the people who created that system well, originally... They have to be in on the plan because the fact is, is if you're going to have one person control 25, you have to have a great deal of structures. You have to mm-hmm. sort of inculcate out a certain level of disruptive behavior. I don't think that all the teachers, like the low-level people at the schools, are in on this sort of plot to uh, to de-individualize students and to make them more docile and obedient. I think that, that that's not necessarily... I think they'd be unsurprised with it. I mean, the fact is is that you can't have a room of 25 individuals being fully self-expressed. Well, I get your point, Mark, but I've had teachers who I believe are you know on the side of more freedom. Yeah. And uh, so I, I don't think that they're all part of some sort of grand conspiracy, but I think there certainly are people who 
are very aware of what they're doing as far as creating new policies that are more controlling. Look, there's a story at uh, at Infowars right now uh, that on Thursday, March 6th, the team comprised of 10 officials from Department of Homeland Security, the prosecutor's office, and the Department of Education Safety and Security Task Forces visited Glen Ridge High School to conduct an unannounced school lockdown drill which includes police with guns going through hallways making kids get down a uh, very very scary scenario situation for people to be dealing with uh, we'll come back with more of your thoughts uh, phone lines are loaded up here 855 450 free if you're on the line we will get to you in hour three which is coming up here on free talk live quantum vibe it's here 2523. there are colonies on venus mars and mercury People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed With brain implants and artificial gravity A scientific genius and his clever assistant Set out on an adventure through the solar system On a secret mission to find the key To access new frontiers and save liberty QuantumVibe.com from Big Head Press Here's something you don't hear on the radio every day Someone who can't see I am totally blind And I go through periods where I'm unable to sleep at night and feel like I'm constantly running but can never quite catch up. But this isn't a sleep problem. It's something called Non24. Learn about the link between total blindness and your symptoms. Visit learnmorenon24.com or call 855-856-2424. Sponsored by Vanda Pharmaceuticals. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, March 14th, 2014. Radio VR News. Is the U.S. deporting too many people? Under heavy pressure from Hispanic groups, President Obama has ordered a fresh review of deportation practices. White House correspondent Mark Smith reports. The president told members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus he understands the pain of families separated by deportation and again faulted a broken immigration system. But this time he said he's asked Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson to look at current practices and see if something can be done to make enforcement more humane. Obama's been under heavy pressure from Latino allies to curb deportations that have accelerated even as efforts in Congress to overhaul the system have stalled. But before now, he's argued the law gives him no choice and only Congress can stop the tearing of families apart. Mark Smith, Washington. The Flight 370 mystery continues. Correspondent Jackie Quinn reports the estimate that the missing jet was still flying for four hours after it was reported missing has led to a wider search area being explored. The Boeing 777 had left Kuala Lumpur and was about two hours into the trip to Beijing when radar contact was lost. The plane was initially thought to have gone down over the South China Sea, but now the search is being widened. According to defense officials, a destroyer, the USS Kidd, is heading to the Indian Ocean, and a U.S. surveillance plane will scour the Strait of Malacca, while another searches over Malaysia. The top U.S. military commander for Latin America says a lot of drugs are flowing out of the region into the U.S. There's not much she can do about it. National security correspondent Sagar Magani has the details. 
With the three American ships he has now, General John Kelly figures he's able to get about 20 percent of the drugs leaving Colombia for the U.S. The rest get through and without more ships and surveillance capabilities. Much larger amounts of drugs will flow up from Latin America. Kelly, who heads the U.S. Southern Command, says he could intercept a lot more drugs if he had 16 ships. Something that floats with a helicopter. But Kelly says he's also realistic, saying budget cuts have slimmed everybody's resources sources, and Southern Command is often the last priority. Sagar Magani at the Pentagon. The Obama administration is proposing new rules designed to protect students at for-profit colleges from amassing huge debt they can't pay off and still pass judicial muster. Correspondent Ross Simpson explains. The proposed regulations would penalize programs that produce graduates without the training needed to find a job with a salary that allows them to pay off their debt. Schools, for profit or not, that don't comply would lose access to federal student aid programs. If finalized, the regulations would take effect in 2016. The for profit college lobby is expected to vigorously oppose the proposals. In 2012, they convinced a judge that similar regulations were too arbitrary. Ross Simpson, Washington. The International Monetary Fund is backing efforts to reduce differences in incomes around the world. The reason? The IMF says the wealth gap could lead to political and economic instability. Correspondent Diane Kepley has more. The global financial institution is recommending a number of steps to help reduce or eliminate income inequality around the world. It's a relevant issue for most countries. IMF spokesman Jerry Rice. Inequality is not uh, conducive to sustainable growth. The IMF says it favors an expansion of income taxes to reduce a reliance on sales taxes. It also recommends a reduction in tax breaks for the wealthy. Such proposals have typically encountered stiff opposition from policymakers. Diane Kepley, Washington. House Speaker John Boehner has invited Pope Francis to address a joint session of Congress. Religion editor Steve Coleman has the details. Boehner says the Pope has inspired millions with his call for protection of the ailing, the impoverished, and the unborn. Vatican sources have said Francis might visit the U.S. in September 2015 when the Church's World Meeting of Families will be held in Philadelphia. That timing could also allow the Pope to address the United Nations in New York. Boehner says he's offering the Pope an open invitation to put Washington on his itinerary. Pope Benedict visited Washington and New York in 2008. Steve Coleman, Washington. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Following the announcement of First Communion, The Holy Spookerist, the first hardcore pornographic movie to be filmed in Vatican City since 1982's classic adult feature Pope Fisters 4, Onion Reporter spoke to Herschel Savage, director of the film. It's a huge honor for me and everyone else involved with this film. This is where they shot Pope Fisters 4. I mean, that movie's a masterpiece. Well, when we wrote up the script, we sent it over to the Vatican to get the Pope's approval and see if he had any notes, but uh, he loved it just the way it was. The highly anticipated pornographic film, which stars Ron Jeremy as the horny see himself, Pope Benedict the 69th will reportedly contain graphic sex scenes filmed in the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's Square, and the Pope Mobile, among various other notable sites within the Vatican. Well, actually, I'm just watching a cut of this amazing scene we shot last night where Pope Benedict is gang banging a bunch of nuns in his bed. And it was great because the Pope let us use his bedroom. Tomorrow, we're shooting the scene where two nuns fuck each other on St. Peter's tomb using strap on crucifixes. I think people are really going to like this movie. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited here to take control of the airwaves toll-free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. All I have to say right now, uh, if you try calling that number, it's going to be busy. 
because every single line is loaded up, and i got to give our callers credit. Every single person held through the entire news break, which is pretty rare in talk radio. Normally people, you know, they get sick and tired of waiting and they bail out. Uh, so thanks for everybody for being so patient. A lot of people believe that uh, Free Talk Live's like those other shows out there where they're going to just uh, pick the people that agree with the host. Or oh, no. Just pick the people that disagree with the host or whatever it is um, that, you know, causes them to, to pick. But here on Free Talk Live, you can call about whatever you want and... We try to get to everybody as quickly as we can. Absolutely, and we're going to do that here. But just to bring you up to speed, in case you're just tuning in, kind of the bulk of the show has been focused around a news story where an 18-year-old EMT, freshly certified EMT, uh, was arrested for felony charges in Ohio at his technical school that he was attending for having his EMT knife in his car during school. And he's, again, facing a felony. He's already been expelled from school. He's probably going to not be able to get into the military, which was his intention. Well, he's been kicked out of the military from his early enrollment Pending thing. him being found guilty, he has been kicked out. If he is found guilty, he will be kicked out. Uh, if he is found not guilty, then in theory he could uh, continue on in his military uh, path. So that led into a larger conversation about zero tolerance and the insanity uh, that we're constantly seeing out of government schools. And there's no shortage of stories like this. This young 18-year-old male is not even the first story like his that we've talked about in the last two years. We've talked about at least three that I can recall. It seems like one in the last six Within weeks. Within the last few a few months, for sure. So that's kind of been the major They're discussion They're getting boring. Here. It's led to a lot. Well, that's just it. Yeah, it's like it's so common now. I'm I'm wondering, should we even be bringing it up? Because it's so common. This probably happens somewhere near where you live as well. Uh, but again, we'll go uh, to your phone calls and thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We go first to David. He's in Charlottesville, Virginia, listening to WCHV. Hey, David. How are you doing, sir? Welcome. You're on the air. Yes, yeah, sir. Um I was, I've been holding for a while. Uh, I appreciate uh, you taking the call. Um, one, I don't know which one of you gentlemen it was, um, made a statement in one of the earlier segments. I guess it was with one of the first callers. The lady that called and had the conspiracy theories about the uh, children going into the military and trying to weed out uh, people you're familiar with that call? Uh-huh, yep. Well, at the close of that statement, or the close of her call, uh, one of you gentlemen had said that you didn't believe that a person could be a Christian and be in the military at the same time. Yes, I said that, and, and I okay. believe that. And, okay. And you also said you posed a question of whom would Jesus kill? Do you recall saying that? Yeah, who would Jesus murder? Well, that's the thing. It hinges on your definition of murder. What is, what is murder? Uh, murder is the shedding of innocent blood. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Okay. Well, the whole question of who would Jesus murder, I mean, I don't know um, your religious beliefs, uh, and uh, I'm, I agree with you on a whole bunch of issues. But Jesus would kill quite a few people. And in fact, if you read Revelation 19, he does just that. Who's he and killing he in Revelation 19? Well, he's coming and he puts an end, if you hold Christian belief, if you read the Bible and you read Revelation 19. Lots of Christians lots of Christians don't believe Re Revelations at all, and many of, and Revelations right, well, is, I mean. Okay. It was, Who does he it, kill? It, I want to know. Who does he kill? It was a disputed book when they put it in, too. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you this, all right? You don't want to look at Revelation. What about Luke? Do you think all Christians... Uh, transcribed to the book of Luke? Well, I think that most of them do. Wait, we got lost. I'm sorry. I haven't read that part of the Bible, so can you just refresh uh, our listeners like me? Who did Jesus murder in uh, in the Bible? Well, you said kill, Ian, so let's go with kill. Yeah. Who did he kill? Well, he didn't kill anybody as of yet, but there's not the oh. finished product of the story. But he did tell his disciples in the book of Luke, he did say that if you had no sword— take your coat, sell it, and buy you one. Why would he 
tell his disciples to do such a thing if he didn't have intentions on them using it. Well, I, I, would, I, I, I think that's interesting, this. and they certainly did. And I think Jesus, the, the character Jesus, which is, as he's portrayed in the the ancient text, um, is difficult to pin down because in one mo- moment he's the Prince of Peace, right? Like be- beating your swords into plowshares. The next moment he says to sell your cloak and buy a sword after you've beaten your last sword into a plowshare. I mean, why didn't I sell my cloak and get a plowshare? Um, he says to you know he says to um, to to get, render under Caesar what is Caesar's, suggesting that somehow you're you know to some people that you're supposed to follow the law. In Romans, Paul's very clear about that. Jesus is a little wishy washy, um, and so it 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 leads us to into a situation. Oh, and then he and then he stands against the uh, the, the the legalists like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, um, and and their definitions of the law. So it's really difficult to pin him down on these particular issues. Well, I guess my my point would be that um, it, it hinges on what your definition of murder. If you go by the logic that um, yeah. you have given out for uh, Christians in the military, let's just take another issue for example. Well, well before, before if, you if, before if you go on, I don't want to argue over definitions because it seems to me maybe my understanding of Jesus is mistaken, and you sound like a Christian guy, so maybe you can clarify it for me. But when I was well, going I'm, to church. I am, uh, I am indeed a Christian. You, you are. Also, okay, you good, know, good. So, so when I was going to church, uh, it was my understanding that Jesus was all about peace and uh, forgiveness and love, loving thy enemy and things like that. Are you saying that that's not the Jesus that you know, that the Jesus that you know would not be in favor of peace and forgiveness, but instead war? No, he also said, blessed are the peacemakers. Mm-hmm. And sometimes peace, as you well know, in this world is comprised with men whose hearts are, are desperately wicked, and we see it all over the world. Huh? Especially in Washington, you know, D.C. What does that mean? Oh, I would, I are you saying the politicians and the, and the soldiers are peacemakers? In, in certain circumstances, they are. That is the most twisted thing uh, that I well, think I've heard on the show many tonight. Ti- many times the military is employed in peacetime um, situations, uh, Operation okay. Restore Democracy in Haiti. You don't, you don't believe... You don't. Know, you, you're telling me that you do not believe that when atrocities are happening, such as let's take for example World War II, when the Jews were being exterminated, do you not believe that somebody with a uh, decent, at least a decent nature, had to stand up and put an end to that evil? Do you think that the United States government got into World War II because of the Jews? Well, that, that's not what I'm saying. I, I, I'm well, saying I, I just want to make it I clear mean, um, the that the principle we, we of need, it is sound. Right. Okay. So yes, um, I, I think that's fine uh, that you can get involved if you wish. However, you shouldn't drag other people into it. Let's not forget the United States government that did not get into World War II because of the atrocities. They didn't even know com- about it. Committed. Eh, there's, there's, you know, there's some debate there, but you can see what uh, you can see what FDR says about Jews, and you can see he's no fan at all, um, or obviously Asians. Um, and then. Well, neither has any, neither really has any administrative power that we've had in government because they uh, they're so worried about their own their own ends. Sure. I'm talking about the individual person who joins the military with the heart to defend. This nation yeah, you don't you don't go to you don't get to peace through violence, and I think Jesus understood that, and that there are Wait. so many Christians who are confused about it is pretty sad. Thanks for your call, David. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. One thing I'd like to point out to David, um, I, I I do think that when you when you join the military, you may join for all the right reasons, but that doesn't mean that you'll get employed because you then become a government tool, um, and that does not mean that you will be employed for all in all the right ways. Mm-hmm. So the reason that you did it doesn't mean that you will have done the right thing, and those things are important. Important to know. Secondarily, um, the, uh, the 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 concept of, uh, of of a just war wasn't inter- even introduced into Christian doctrine until about a thousand A.D. The first thousand years of Christianity. Christians couldn't participate in the military in good conscience. I uh, re- recommend everybody look up St. Martin of Tours. Um, you know, he's 
Roman soldier. You can go take a look what things were like in the third century. Yeah. A lot closer to when Jesus was around. Secondarily, if you don't think that Christianity has been corrupted, take a look at Hardcore History Show number 41, Thor's Angels. I want to share something important ah. that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No. This is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade-grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. A cool guy from middle school is still sporting his fat pair of jinkos. A stunned St. Peter's Square crowd hears the Pope getting bitched out by God. And an eighth grader caked in makeup is probably really confident. This is The Onion Week in Review. This week, a Pew Research Center poll found that the vast majority of Americans would watch a television show called Love Trap, with most saying that regardless of the show's genre or quality, they would tune in weekly to see its stars stumble into romantic triangles, double-cross one another, and contend with whatever the titular Love Trap refers to. The survey confirmed that 62% of Americans would likely watch Love Trap to see a shrewd but cold-hearted Southern Belle named Tammy. 23% of the nation hoped the show would be referred to as The Trap by its most loyal fans. And 15% of respondents said they simply needed something to watch. And in this week's science news, a biologist completes a five-minute study of the pathetic organism in his mirror. In other news, a man confidently hits send on the worst job application a company has ever seen. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, it's the live Saturday edition of the program. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can join us online. Just drop on by freetalklive.com. Create the content on the front page of the website and get interactive in a variety of other ways. we got a webcam. You can watch, listen, 
and interact with other Free Talk Live listeners because our chat room is built into the same page as the cam. You can go there and do all that for free. Unlike those other talk show hosts that want to hide their cams behind paywalls, you can just go and watch and listen and interact all free over at cam.freetalklive.com. Something else that's free, you can go to bigheadpress.com and read some great comic books. Right, and Quantum Vibe is their serial comic that they're updating on a daily basis. If you can imagine, it's really difficult to find a comic that's updated on a daily basis. And this isn't a strip. This is... Uh, you know, this is art. <laughs> you can go take a look at at uh, it's bigheadpress.com in order to uh, to see all of their their options. I believe it's quantumvibe.com to see their daily comic, and they're now on volume two. It's uh, it's really great. You can get the volume one, the full color, 161 pages. It's available on Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, and it is uh, also available directly from the the publisher, bigheadpress.com. All right, let's continue here going with more of your calls and thoughts to the phones. And the fun, we go to Terrence listening in Pennsylvania to W-E-E-O-F-M. Hey, Terrence. Hey, how are you, fellas? Everything's great. Hey, great. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to comment that uh, you were talking about freedoms and, uh, or lack of freedoms that we are losing. I would just remind you that uh, so there were 200 years ago, there were 2 billion people on the planet. Today, there is 7 billion people on the planet. And your other caller mentioned God. What does God see when he looks down from the firmament? He sees 50% of his image and likeness is malnourished. He sees 60% of his image and likeness is illiterate. They can't even read and write. In this country, we know how to read and write, but it does not save us from ignorance. Mm. He sees 50% of the world's population live in the temperate zone. And the temperate zone makes up less than 10% of the land mass. He sees that 50% of all of the world's wealth is in the hands of 6% of the people. What he sees is not good. I think we are doomed as a species. Now, your lack of freedom, I would remind you uh, that we are in uh, uh, laws of physics uh, that we have no control over. I mean, period. Uh, you, 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 every centimeter of your skin has, you know, 100,000 microbes on it. You got over 300 microbes uh, in your digestive tract. You wouldn't live a day without them. Okay, so we're surrounded by a microbial world. Uh, we certainly don't have any uh, uh, control over our sun, okay, that has sunspots and is burning 15% hotter uh, than it did when it was born. It's going to go through its hydrogen. Then it's going to start burning its helium. So there are all kinds of laws and physics that we have no control of, so there is no freedom. Freedom is just an illusion. Now, I would suggest uh, when beating up the government. Uh, let's well, just, no, hold on. Uh, There's a difference between freedom from the constraints of the, re- <laughs> of, of the real world and freedom from other, other hairless monkeys sticking guns in your faces and telling you what to do. I mean, that's the okay. terminology we're trying to use here. All right. Okay. Let's talk about these perilous monkeys. Okay. I would remind you uh, that uh, they, somebody came up with the idea of strip mining a long time ago. Bad idea. Somebody used to send kids down to the coal mines without a dust mask. Bad idea. Somebody didn't know about crop rotation. They ended up with a dust bowl. How about the invention of, of lead into gasoline? Okay. To take engine knockout. Okay. And lead is a neurotoxin. You know how long it took people to realize. That, that, that had to be taken it's out. It's still of happening. Gas. Lead's about, still in fuel. Chloro- 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 lead chloro- is chloro- still in fuel around happened? the world. And the point that I would like to make to you is in English common law, the uh, the king actually circumvented rulings uh, by local judges that people be held responsible, nobles be held responsible for their crops, polluting the crops of serfs. And he, he instituted star chambers. Governments have been protecting the rich over the poor the whole time that governments Governments have existed. Why do you think that but governments were put in place? Well, I don't disagree with that. I, I would say to you that the spirit of John Brown is crying out to rise up slaves and corporate rule. But there are all kinds of examples. It's of not no the corporations, my friend. Corporations are constructs of the state. The s- corporations cannot exist without the state. The state is a is a corporation. Uh, I would suggest to you that. When they gather the cocoa beans to make the billion-dollar co- co- chocolate industry, 
you need to see what goes on at the at the gathering of that cocoa bean. How about gold and silver? Do you think some man died for gold and silver? How about those blood diamonds? Don't diamonds, they sparkle yeah. really nice? I mean, all I'm saying is there are all kinds of examples, palm oil, bananas. There are all kinds of examples of mankind uh, doing all of the wrong things. Now, Yeah, I'm there absolutely are, you. and I agree with you on all of those points, Terrence. The last thing I want to do is let those same men who want to control their fellow men and women, let those same men have the, the, you know, the reins of power and give them even more control over people, which is, of course, what we have now, because those very same people who are doing the things you're talking about have their buddies that are you know, basically getting paychecks from them in the halls of power, in governmental positions positions to protect them from liability for their actions. So, of course, the government and the state is not the solution to the problem of these evil corporations. The government and the state, they're there to protect those people. And I thank you for the call tonight. 855-450-FREE. We continue here and we'll go to Stephen listening in Utah. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Stephen. Hey, guys. How you doing? Welcome, sir. You're on the air. Okay. I wanted to strike at the root of the issue of the young man in Ohio. Yes. Um, the EMT it, who's been arrested in- for having a knife. Right. That's this cool. is just another instance of a victimless crime law. Um, he didn't victimize anybody. It's actually not even a um, law. And I, <laughs> it's a school rule. <laughs> well, well, it must be a law. Right. Because right. This- I mean, he, it's a, I mean, and, and when I say law, I meant like a custom of that school's regulatory system. It's a law. But, um, he's, he's wrong. There's, the fact is the kid was charged with a, uh, a fifth-degree felony or Class 5 felony, so it's, sure. a, it's a law bringing a, a knife on to okay, a, a government property. Right, and I find this tantamount to um, the marijuana prohibition today as well as alcohol and gold prohibition in the 30s. Um, it's just bureaucrats trying to control people. I don't really think it has anything to do with anything else. <laughs> Yeah, I, I no doubt about it. But what do you do about it? Uh, well, I was specifically calling in. I'm not calling for an answer. I was calling in, referring to trying to enlighten some of the previous callers who were saying that they think he should be punished for this. I wanted them to kind of look at it from a perspective of he action has actually hasn't victimized anybody. So when he goes to court for this, he's going to stand in front of the state. He's not standing in front of a person. Who was harmed financially or physically? I don't know no that victim, that's going to no stop crime. most of the co- most of the callers or no, people listening. Care. Um, it's a rule. Care. The fact is that with the malum prohibitum laws, I think it's like ninety percent of the arrests in America are malum prohibitum. Could they be. don't have victims. I mean, this is a, this is a nation that's completely uh, desensitized to the idea that there needs to be a victim for a crime. Stephen, thanks for your call tonight. Appreciate it. Eight fifty five four fifty three is the toll free number. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three. Still plenty of time for you and your thoughts here on this live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. There's more coming up. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pillen, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. 
though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Do you feel like there's nothing you can do about the inexorable growth of government? I did too, before I heard about the Free State Project. The Free State Project is a project to get 20,000 liberty lovers to move to New Hampshire to have liberty in our lifetimes. Early movers for the FSP are getting elected, involved in their communities, and participating in civil disobedience. Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme. Your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control here on Free uh, Free Talk Live, where you can bring up anything that you want. You don't necessarily have to talk about this EMT who's been charged with a Class 5 felony in Ohio for, well, doing his job. He had a uh, an EMT knife in his EMT kit. He He's in an EMT in training. I mean, he's not No, he's certified. A, he's certified? Yep, story says he's certified. Oh. He's, he's freshly certified at age 18. But he was taking the firefighter classes and those sorts of things at that Protect, vote, vocational technical school. Uh, yeah, I think so. But anyway, he's certified to be an EMT, according to the story at theblaze.com. Right, right. uh, but either way, he has his EMT kit in his car, and uh, there's a knife in that kit, and there was some tip that was sent into the school. Who knows who sent it in? Anonymous tip, supposedly, that said that he had a YouTube channel where he was talking about um, home protection. And so the suggestion was that he had some sort of weapon. They went and searched his car in the parking lot, found the knife. Now he's looking at a felony, and I don't know how much time you get for a Class 5 felony in Ohio, but it's you know, it's probably some time behind bars, which, of course, will ruin his chances at uh, joining the military, which is something he wanted to do. He's also talking about becoming a firefighter or police officer, which will also make it near impossible for him to do that if he gets convicted of this. Um, in fact, there was actually a little bit more to the story. We didn't get a chance to get to it. You can call in about what uh, you want to share with us here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And we've got Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. If you care about online privacy, you really need ProXPN. ProXPN is a global virtual private network that allows your online data to be encrypted back and forth. So before what you're doing gets to your ISP... Because when you send something out from your computer, it first goes to your internet service provider, whatever company they are, and then they send it to the appropriate next route uh, to wherever it is it's going on the internet. And when they're doing that, normally, if you don't have ProXPN, they're examining your uh, your requests. They're logging every website you visit and probably every search term that you enter, and they're keeping those logs in some cases for up to five years. So you can stop that from happening 
right now by going to proxpn.com slash FTL. They've got a free account. So what I mean is you can go now and get started with ProXPN. Try it out and see how you feel about this uh, program for Windows, Macintosh, iOS, or Android devices. Plus, if you're using Linux, you can get setup instructions. It's a little different, but it works, and it's pretty easy, actually. So whatever your system, you can use ProXPN and protect yourself from your internet service provider knowing what you're doing online because ProXPN doesn't log your internet surfing habits. And you can go and get started with that over at ProXPN.com slash FTL. Now, you're going to want to upgrade to the premium account uh, because with the premium account, you get no bandwidth limitations, so unlimited bandwidth, and you can select your server around the world, which really comes in handy if you want to make it look like you're coming from a different country. When the, web, when the websites you're visiting, you know, a lot of them know where you're coming from. Well, if you're using ProXPN, they won't know where you actually are. They protect your privacy in that way as well. Plus, you can get around, uh, you can get around like blocks. So if you're at a workplace or at a school or in another country where they have restrictions on Internet, you don't have those restrictions if you're using ProXPN. And again, you can put it on your laptop. You can put it on your handheld device. Uh, you put it on your desktop, proxpn.com slash FTL. Use our discount code to get 20% off the price of their premium account, which also allows you to do things like privately torrent. Really cool feature. FTL20 is the promo code you need. That's 20% off for the lifetime of the account. And if you get the annual plan, that breaks the price down to 5 bucks a month when you use our discount code FTL20 at proxpn.com slash FTL. Pay with Bitcoin to save even more. proxpn.com slash FTL. Code FTL20. As we continue with you and your thoughts, we go first to Steve. He's in Maryland listening to WEEO-FM. Hey, Steve. Hello. Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Oh, I just wanted to make a comment about that, that fellow in Ohio, and I think Common sense is going out the window here. I know when I was a kid, every, we all carried pocket knives, mm. and I almost were you stabbing each other? Uh, were there stabbings happening regularly at your school, or no, even I irregularly? Think I think it's you know a, a common sense tool that everybody should carry. Yeah, they come in handy in a lot of uh, situations, even if you're not an I, EMT. You got to open boxes. I'm a. I do some farm work. I, I would call get, myself I, a farmer. You, you, but gave I keep my a knife. son grief on the jobs because he didn't have a pocket knife to open boxes or on. Or cut the strapping off materials. Indeed. And in in kindergarten, you know, we went to I went to school with my Roy Rogers six shooters on. We didn't get in trouble for that. But there must have been fights, right? I mean, back yeah. in there were always well, there was always the fights, and there was always that sort of thing. But would people know, ever draw out their knives had... during the fights? And you know, would somebody get shanked during a fight? In your school? No, I don't recall any of that. No. Yeah, me either. We, you know, I know and, we carried pocket knives. in high school, you know, I went, and I grew up outside of D.C. in the suburbs. You know, I, I drove a van and had a little dirt bike put in the back of the van. In the van, I had camp stoves, fishing rods, twenty two rifle, shotgun, all the things that a, a kid, you know. Man, a you'd be in prison for life so, today. <laughs> right. So they'd, yeah. never, they'd bury you under the jail. I mean, even in the Catholic school. We carried the pocket knives, and we had a, a, an asphalt playground, so the little strips of grass, we would, you know, do that little pen knife tossing game into, at a target, you know? Oh, wow, you were even playing with the knives openly in school. Man, those were and, the good and, old and, days. And, you know, there was nothing, never any concern about any of this. Mm. And and I hope that the, the census fellow was certified that common sense will rule, too, that he's certified, he's qualified to have these knives. He's in his car, even. They weren't even on him. I hope you're right, right, too, Steve, but I don't expect a judge to do the compassionate thing in this case. Man, I, just... I, I have to say that I think that they will. It just seems so crazy. Thanks for your I, call, I, man. I, I, pre so. I appreciate you sharing the uh, the old ways with us, Steve. Thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for making the call tonight. Uh, 855-450 free. I still can't get over my neighbor telling me how they used to carry their guns to school and they left them in the coat room. Um, I mean, they, he brought mm -hmm. his rifle with the intention of shooting dinner. Timothy is with us. He's in Alabama. And, Timothy, you're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Good evening, gentlemen. How y'all doing? Sound great. Go ahead, Timothy. Hey, uh, this story in Ohio is, is just totally off the scale. I'm, you're, you're, uh, your partner right there is a volunteer firefighter, and so am I in my community. And we carry stuff. You know, they would probably, if, if they went through either one of our uh, turnout gear uh, coats and pants and so forth and found the stuff that we carry to you know, carry out our job with, we would probably put under the jail as well. 
Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Sharp things. <laughs> Very sharp things. And, you know, good God, what if this kid had driven a fire truck, to, you know, as, as a per- just say as a personal vehicle to the school with axes and pry bars mm. and all that other stuff on there? What would have happened then? Yeah, it's he wouldn't be the first person that has been able to take a, 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 a you know a city vehicle or town vehicle and go somewhere with it. I've been able to take the brush truck in, to places. Yes, so have I. And this is this has just gotten way out of hand, and I'm I'm tired of it. I really am. You you hear you're hearing stories like this all the time now. It's true. There's no shortage of them, but people don't know what to do about it, Timothy. Uh, you call me Tim. I hate Timothy. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a, it's that's, your name on uh, on Skype. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my, yeah, that's my full name on Skype. But uh, everybody calls me Tim. Anyhow, All right, Tim. No, anyhow, Should change that. No, no, you're right. <laughs> and I wish that I wish there was, you know, I wish I wish there was an easy solution to that. There's no Other easy that, solution because you know the the typical uh, kind of run of the mill uh, excuse blow off uh, you know answer is well you should run for school board if you don't like it well. How has no. that been working out? No, no, that hasn't worked out at all. And yes, and you know what? There is an easy solution, and you all mentioned it a few minutes ago. Plain old American common sense. Now, apparently, it's not so common. I thank you for the call tonight, Tim. No plain. Appreciate hearing from you. Uh, again, I think the Free State Project is probably the best option out there to bring people who actually understand liberty. And just because you are against zero tolerance doesn't mean you understand liberty. You're just right on that issue. If you understand that in order to be free, you have to allow others to be free and that you should be able to live your life how you want, so long as you don't hurt anybody else, those are the kind of people that we need to come to New Hampshire and get active here, all to concentrate our efforts in one place. There was actually a caller earlier who was, unfortunately, we didn't get to him. His, uh, oh, he hung up before we got to him, but uh, his his point was going to be, well, why don't you libertarians go into all the communities in the in the country? And that's, no, that doesn't work. There are libertarians in all across the country. The problem is there's only a few of them. So the idea they can't get anything done. Right. The idea behind the Free State Project is let's get those few libertarians all in the same place and then well we'll see some progress. In fact, we already have. More coming up in the remaining moments of Free Talk Live. Your calls are next. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor Starter Kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. A healthy heart is a happy heart, and a healthy heart means a happy body. Friend, if you're suffering from issues related to angina pain, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, unbalanced cholesterol, irregular heartbeat, clogged arteries, or arthritis, you've got to try Heart and Body Extract. Heart and Body Extract is all natural with no negative side effects. Try finding that in a pharmaceutical. Go to hbextract.com. That's hbextract.com. Take the high road to a long and healthy life with Heart and Body Extract. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! 
What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated, so send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, moments remain, probably not enough time for you if you're calling in now, but if you're already on hold, we're going to do our best to get you on the air tonight. If you don't get on tonight, there's always tomorrow night. That's right. Free Talk Live is on seven nights per week. Now, I won't be here tomorrow, but Mark, you will be on the live Sunday edition of the show. Yeah, with I Stephanie, do Sunday show. With Stephanie and Brian as well. I'm sure they've been having fun with their anarchy show uh, in your absence. They always do that stuff hmm. uh, when you're not around. I'm so, delighted. So uh, you can join the, uh, them all tomorrow night, freetalklive.com. If it's not on your local talk radio station, go ahead and give them a call. And uh, talk to the program director and ask them real nicely to take all seven nights a week of Free Talk Live. If they don't take anything, then ask for something. And if they take some, then ask for more. And do it nicely. You never know what will happen when you ask real nice like for something. So uh, you can go, by the way, to amp.freetalklive.com. You want to help us get on more radio stations, even in places you don't live? Uh, you can help us out with that. The AMP program is one of the uh, the ways that we can get on more radio stations. But something else we're doing with AMP right now is uh, we've got a fundraising drive. We're getting matching dollars from a group of generous contributors. These guys have said they'll pay up to $950 a month in matching dollars. We've got around $750, $800 a month uh, right now that's coming in. So we're looking to raise that remaining $150 or so dollars and have that matched by these uh, these generous people. So you can become a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com for five bucks a month, which is like becoming one for ten bucks because you do five, and then one of these other guys will kick in the other five bucks. And what we're doing right now is we're doing an, a Google AdWords campaign where we're advertising Free Talk Live to people who aren't necessarily looking for liberty-oriented talk radio online. Because typically when, when we're talking about online listeners, we're talking about kind of the choir, people who already believe in the ideas of freedom, who are kind of seeking libertarian talk radio. It's easy to find Free Talk Live if that's what you're looking for. But we want to find people who are just looking for talk radio, searching for things like that on Google. And Google AdWords makes that pretty easy. Uh, we're raising money to do this. We're already running the Google AdWords, but we'd like to bring some more money in so we can increase the budget and you know, hopefully get more clicks and more listens as a result of Larger that. Larger budget, more clicks, more listens. Exactly. Uh, Google will always take more money from you if you've got it and give you more clicks as a result. So we want to get more internet listeners as well as radio station listeners. And please help us with that by going to amp.freetalklive.com Become an amplifier for five bucks a month, and then that money will be doubled. If you become an amplifier for ten bucks or twenty-five bucks a month, that'll also be doubled. So go to amp.freetalklive.com. You get perks like access to the amp-only call-in lines, the amp-only uh, podcast that actually allows you to download episodes that don't have the same commercial load that our normal podcast does, and other perks like the brand new amp-only 
Facebook group. And I have to say, this is probably the most exciting thing to happen to the Free Talk Live AMP program in the last few years. Um, and I think it was your idea, Mark, if I'm not mistaken. Super genius. Yeah. Um, so this is working well. Actually, somebody had posted in the AMP group today earlier today about hey you know tell us more about the uh the, you know the the adwords program what are the keywords you're using and they're making you know kind of suggestions to try to help us because i don't know what i'm doing when it comes to adwords uh, but a lot of our listeners actually do you know they've got experience with this so it's cool the facebook group has allowed free talk live amplifiers to not only help us make free talk live a better and more effective show uh, as far as you know how we reach out to people doing this advertising, but also the amplifiers are just kind of talking about things that they think are interesting. And I think it's a neat addition. It's So it's the newest perk, and you'll get invited to that if you become a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com as we go to the phones and the fun here. Let's talk to, I believe we've got Wit listening in Arizona via the TuneIn app. Hey, Wit. Thank you. I originally got amped up to call in when I was listening to a gentleman try to make a very relevant distinction between uh, killing and murder. Uh, speaking of libertarians, did I hear one of you correctly uh, dismiss the thought that uh, the peace, the violence can beget peace? Dismiss the thought that violence can beget peace. Maybe Ian, did Yeah, I, I said I don't believe peace can be achieved through violence. Okay, because... Auschwitz was clo was closed, by the way, down by the Russians through violence. It wasn't closed down by peace huggers and potheads holding up flowers. But uh, uh, the world is not uh, necessarily more peaceful because people have used violence to respond to violence. Uh, to, well, you know, an eye for an eye I makes the whole world say, blind, <laughs> etc. What would have happened had the people not reported to the the cities? Had the Jews not reported to the the ghettos in the first place? Right. Well, uh, again, uh, they may have not ended up in ghettos if they had fought back violently, but that's uh, something I wanted to say about libertarians. The original libertarians, uh, the greatest divorce decree in human history, the Declaration of Independence, was also, a, they knew, was a declaration of war. And it led to the greatest country on God's green earth. Um, <laughs> it, it becomes the greatest country on God's earth. You think this God's is the greatest earth. country on the earth? This is one of the most violent countries. This country puts, uh, the government people in this country put more of their people in jail than any other country in the entire world. Uh, I, you can call that an act of violence, but don't put Yeah, it's it definitely on violence when you put someone in jail. Do, forgive me. Uh, I don't happen to agree with what you, uh, I don't defend our government putting people in jail for, like, smoking bud or purchasing bud or even selling bud. Okay, we're on the same page there. I actually am libertarian, but I do know that there are acts of violence that lead to peace. For instance, fat man and little boy. Are you really? You're going to defend? Are you serious? You're going to defend the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? You're a sick, sick yeah, individual, Wit. Good luck with the, whatever it is you're doing out there in life. But yeah, uh, um, wow. So, so the the defense of uh, the bombing of Nagasaki and Hiroshima is is that U.S. Uh, soldiers wouldn't have to go into harm's way, and that much is true. But it's the politicians that would have ordered them in there in the first place. The fact is, Japan was pleading with uh, with Ru with the United States through Russia at that time for peace, mm. a qualified peace where the emperor got to remain the emperor, being called the emperor. But they gave that to them anyway. They just essentially dropped these bombs for no political purpose at all, except to show the Soviet Union, hey, we got bombs. It's, it's just horrifying. And I'm sorry, no. Um, I think that you know the answer to violence is not more violence. I mean, historically, well, I disagree mankind... with you on that, and I d tend to agree with the caller. The fact is, is that I do think that there have been instances where one can use force to prevent. Sure, violence you could defend your family. I think with defensive uh, force, defensive violence. But, but the but the, what you asked was initially was who would Jesus kill? And I think that that's an entirely different question. That's a question to Christians about a religion, a protest religion that was was brought uh, that was wrought out of uh, you know upset with the Roman government mm -hmm. and uh, you know their use of force and violence. That's an entirely different question of you know whether or not violence can uh, you know bring around some level of uh, sucker to human suffering. Right, and uh, the United States didn't need to get involved in World War II in any way, shape, or form, and uh, the they were actually. 
the, you look back at the McCollum memo, for instance, and they were actually trying to get the uh, the Japanese to use violence against them. That's so a much longer show. Go ahead and take a to, call. Uh, to get into the war. So all the history shows that violence just begets more violence. Uh, let's continue on here with your calls and thoughts. We've got Richard listening in Mobile, Alabama to WAVH. Hello, Richard. Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? You're on the air, sir. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Um, I'm just curious if you would uh, venture, uh, since you be a libertarian, uh, me being Tea Party conservative, kind of, if you would venture to uh, discuss, uh, maybe delve into maybe a little psychobabble as to what you think the new American, the new American demographic, uh, is under the supposed utopia and vision uh, or myth, as I would like to say, of uh, Barack Hussein Obama, the person, uh, the persona uh, of Barack Hussein Obama. You see, uh, uh, under the under the premise of of uh, how we've allowed ourselves as a country to get to a point to where our government is, is, is when we elect a president, it's, we're we're concentrating our government in the form of a single person. How? Well, my question. And how are we? Why and are we allowing our government to tell us that we're going to break our own laws, our own constitutional supreme law of the land? The government's been doing that for two centuries. The government's, yeah. you know, been telling us to who, whoever us is. The government's been breaking its own constitution for as long as it's had one. I wouldn't agree with that. Really? When did it? When didn't it? I would under, like to, the I'd Alien like to and Sedition an Act under it. under the second president, John Adams, when uh, when George Washington was squashed a rebellion that he you know he himself having led one recently uh, went and squashed the whiskey whiskey rebellion and Shays rebellion. I mean that Constitution Constitution. Richard, thank you for the call. Anything about it? Appreciate it. I wish we had more time. We've got like five calls on hold and not can't get to a single one. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. is the best I can offer you. Yeah, call right in. 450 free. Call right in at the top of the show tomorrow. We'll get you on then. If you didn't get on tonight, please accept our apologies. We'll see you tomorrow online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. And even if violence stops violence in the moment, it doesn't stop it in the long run. Neither does peace. Uh, peace is the way. See you tomorrow. Remember. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN. This is the Liberty Beat, your source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, March 14th, 2014. 
Gold opened today at $1,376.